Let's see. <coughs> uh, I, ooh, Sasira was supposed to be up for scribing this week, but she's not here, obviously. Uh, does someone want to fill in for her, or should I roll for it? I would love to. Alright, do it. Um, if y'all are okay with that. I think you're also meant to be next week, though. Uh, you are. Doodles is next week. Do you want to do two in a row? I'm fine with that. Alright, well, maybe, uh, that. maybe Sasira will <coughs> want to trade back with you next week. Good yeah. Chicken. Uh, cool. But uh, we have LJ as the quartermaster still. And uh, it's Eldwin's turn, but LJ is quartermastering. Uh, and LJ is the previous scribe. Uh, do you want to give us a recap of last time, LJ? Yes, I will do my best in my first person POV because it's fun. Um, and sadder, I don't want to voice for LJ. Um, we begin the session as the city, city, city second of spring. The year 532 of the 13th cycle. We continue the combat with the vampires, still pinned down by the psychic vampire. Um, a dark cloud appears near Doodles, and a huge raven comes out, taking in Doodles. The psychic vampire drags both me and Vethman me, each one handed, each of my head, into the dawn created by Onvir. I am stunned by the weed vampire, or the psychic vampire. After being freed, I am seen to take over, and I tap the giant raven in front of me, having seen him attack one bit for only a fraction of a second. Seconds later, I get stunned again. After the being freed from stun, many seconds have passed, everyone has moved, and the psychic vampire is running away. After a bit more time, I'm pissed and go to attack the frying umbo. After riding the NG, I attacked one of the Umbro's duplicates, which took the attack. I'm still sad about that. Minutes later, we started running, with Bethmail chasing the psychic, and the Umbro also disappears. Myself, Noodles, Eldwin, and Andrea then start running at the Bethmail, and at about 30 or 40 minutes of running, we then catch up with them as he running back at the failing to capture the psychic after he ran for over an hour. We then head back at the trick pit stop returning to the pit. Session recap in. Alright, thank you for that recap. So it is the 62nd of spring at 5.30pm uh, where we left off. The group was underneath uh, the tavern. In Revan's Pass. Uh, Finnegan's Flint, I believe. Yeah, that's right. We just got to the tavern. Uh, so, what does the group want to do? You've kind of been keeping a low profile, uh, and I believe you are going to head back to the uh, Pit Gang headquarters. It's kind of like your new yes. layer. Yeah, we were going to try and parlay a bit with Kyber, with Foley in that. Holy caliber. Um, do we do we want to get any food while we're here? I mean, it's a bread of dirt. I'm not going to say no to food. I like to imagine the bar owner just sees, do like, the, you know, they just sees Doodle walking by, just like, what happened to you, man? <clears throat> well, the group uh, is kind of wanted, but... Yeah. Uh, so it would be yeah. risky to show your faces within the bar, but uh, and I'm guessing you guys don't have disguises. Uh, I mean, no, not there right now. I I could uh, cut off your mutton chops and nobody would recognize you, LJ. Fuck no. Ah, okay, okay. Then uh, maybe we skip food. I, I wish there was a way to going. like send a note, but I'm a better cook than uh, old Jim up there. He's kind of a, a, a slob. All right, so are you gonna head back to the uh, to the 
pit gang base then? Yes. Alright, so you have your NPC uh, with you. Here is a very, very valid question. What are we doing with Sol? And he come with us? Uh, he is with you currently. Okay, I just wasn't sure. I couldn't remember if we, like, got into Finnegan's from underground or not. We do. Yeah, you're in the underground of Finnegan's. You're not in the actual bar or tavern. Oh, okay, okay. If you were I think there, I you'd probably be spotted by someone. Yeah, yeah I think we're just much time. Alright, so you're going through the tunnels. You have Seal and, uh, I think the captain is with you, but uh, the pit gang crew is, or one of their people is uh, leading you through the tunnels here. Uh, and some more time will pass. Uh, but eventually, I'll say after uh, another hour or so of travel, you would get back to the pit market underground uh, so yeah you are safely back here it is currently let's say about 6 30 in the evening what do you want to do uh i want to start making dinner i'm hungry and uh, before i do that i'm gonna roll up a few joints and start passing them around all right, so uh, you, I'm guessing, are in the common area of the Pit Market Gang base, uh, just kind of hanging out. There are a couple of the uh, Pit Market guys there, but they're mostly avoiding you, kind of going about their business. Uh, so you're making some food, you're hanging out, maybe you are the rest of the Are the rest of the NPCs already here? Yeah, everyone's here. Yeah, yeah, I just wanted to make sure the other ones were all here and safe. Yeah, and the boss uh, has kind of given you your own area as well that you can use. Kind of some back rooms that you and your people can oh, have for now. Do we have somebody to talk to? I forgot. Uh, at this point, you're kind of in hiding. You've gotten your people all the safety, and uh, I think you're figuring out your next steps. Uh oh. We were trying to figure out who would ally themselves with us, and we believed Kyber was a potential, and we had to go through here to get to well, the Kyber, vampire. Kyber has said that you can use uh, his base for now, although you're guessing he's going to ask something of you at some point. Yeah. He's still kind of pissed off that you attacked his people. But... <laughs> He probably sees value in the group as uh, being allies. Yeah, I think we see him as not, like, a good ally, but a purchasable ally. <laughs> um, but Kyber is friends with uh, the, our, our other friend who we just rescued, right? Uh, Voli, they know each other. They're not, like, best friends yeah. or anything. But, okay, yeah, okay. Cool, okay. yeah. Well, well do we yeah, uh, put he... them in the same room and see what happens? He definitely likes Voli more than Voli's sister. Azula. That's mm. a lot about him. Does it? Well, she gonna ride me, Ben? Um, but, uh, yeah, what do we want to do? Do we want to try, try to bring these two together? Um, should we talk to Kyver about anything? Well, he would say, bring me together with Kyver? I don't know. Yeah, yeah. So it's Kyver is a great guy. Enemy. I yeah, know, we uh, could. Him. What's up? We're just Sorry. thinking as we're Thank just you. trying to think of as many allies to join us, and we're at the pit gang. Sorry, I was dealing with my kid. Well, Kyber yeah. is a uh, Kyber is a, a beast of uh, of habit. He definitely is going to put making money over over most things. I've what noticed did I that many uh, many that come from poor backgrounds are like this, which I can't blame them for. I mean, I was kind of born into privilege myself. So we did, we're, we are back in the, um... Picking. Okay. 
In the pit market, yeah, underground. We're back, everyone's safe, we're just figuring out what we're doing now. <laughs> he says, I could talk to Kyber if you want. Uh, what do you want me to ask I mean, him? I don't, well, we I don't think there's much of a, yeah, if you don't have anything to talk to him about, then that's that. Um, you know, he's kind enough to let us stay here, uh, but I, for one, can't imagine we're, we'll be staying here too long. We were only thinking that you need as many allies as possible, and he could potentially be one. He says, well, uh, honestly, I was probably just going to skip town. But cool. you guys probably need allies as you want to get your friend back from the uh, Steel Shadow. Am I right? Well, that's true. We need allies, I guess. Uh, I guess we never really asked what you wanted to do. He says, well, if you all weren't here, again, I'd probably skip town. I have a bunch of friends to the east on that bridge you all uh, almost killed me on. My uh, my little bandit crew that I hang out with says they could probably protect me, but... I just want to clarify, you make it sound a lot worse than we did. We never even started a fight with you. He says, I don't know, you guys were getting pretty, uh, pretty violent. But in any case, yeah. misunderstandings. I, I went and spoke yeah. to your uh, your people, and you seem like a nice group of folks. Is this um, the captain that's speaking? Yeah, this is Voli. Uh, so Vethmel says to him, It's cowardice to run away, especially when your own sister is threatening you. So Win. Uh, Beat her. It sure is. It also uh, means you usually live longer. <laughs> And he gives you a wink. He, he has a point there, Vesmel. But he I, has uh, a point. you guys don't have to worry. He says, uh, "I like this crew, and uh, you've you've done me uh, solid by not murdering me. Because it would have been easy to kill me and uh, get Azula's uh, um, uh, alliance, which would have made it much easier to get your 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 person back. But you didn't take that route. So uh, I'm here for you." Not gonna run away. Don't worry. Well, why don't you come with us when we leave? Uh, we have a whole mansion we do nothing with. He says, I saw it. Uh, give me a persuasion check, DC 15. What do you mean uh, we do nothing with it? <laughs> like, what 90% of the time, we are there. Bardic inspiration. <laughs> You're gonna bardic inspiration him in the middle of the uh, conversation? I'm gonna pull on my little loot and start playing it. You just start mm -hmm. playing like uh He just like starts playing like just inspiring music, music as he's uh yeah. talking. Oh yeah. Sure, you can like, you like just it. come with us. Do, 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 do. You, can, you can bardic inspiration. <laughs> Yay, good, because I'm not great at persuasion. That's what she said. Is that Ooh. what she said? And then D ten. N? Doesn't your thing give it a oh, game yeah. as well? Yeah, let me let me link that real quick. Isn't that like I a think... creation bard thing where if I use it on an ability check, it's this advantage? This is an ability check. Yeah, advantage. Uh, Roll two d10s. Yeah. Which means I'm going to sustain! This is well, I'll uh... <laughs> As the moat pops and emits colorful... Hold on, you need the actual effects. So, he <laughs> says, uh, well, you know, I'll certainly... And then there's, like, fireworks from Anvir, and he's like, what the fuck was that? Even I look at it just like, the fuck? Anyway, um... Yeah, yeah, I'll, I'll keep it in mind. I'll, uh, I definitely owe you for not trying to kill me. And uh, as I said, you guys have a interesting, uh, interesting house and interesting digging machine. So I'll, I'll hang so, out for now. My overarching goal is to get her back. And since I her, I'll say her actual name because I told her forgot it. But are we planning to also kill your sister as I point to Volley? He says, well, I, I, uh, I wouldn't blame you if you did. Uh, my preference I, would be to capture her, but I can't uh, fault you if you want to kill her. My only worry with killing her is that would probably, especially if you're wanting to leave town, and 
No offense, Foley. I don't exactly see you as somebody holding a seat of power. He says, nah, if I, were, if I wanted to, I probably could have fought for it in the first place. I feel like we'd leave a bit of a power vacuum if we killed her. <clears throat> uh, she's not gonna work for us, and, well, I don't see a truce being made. Well, there's already, uh, there's always the opera. He kind of looks at Beth Mel. I'm sure your yeah, master was... uh, would love to get control of the city. Uh, Beth Mel smiles and said, I wasn't going to say anything, but I was definitely thinking the same thing. He says, all Beth Mel? Uh, you just have to contend with the Deep Buyer uh, house. Although I'm guessing they could probably just keep the relationship going. Uh, I'm get uh, My parents would probably come back at some point, the Stevison uh, family, but... Yeah, there'd be some chaos for a while if Azula died. Uh, so, sweet, thank you. Uh, it sounds like we can skip town, which I'm all for. Uh, there's not much here for us, is there? We um, need to save somebody. Okay. And uh, it sounds like one of the best routes to do that is to have Vesmo lead us to his people. Yes. And then we were potentially talking about asking Kaiba, I think was another thing that we did. So, but he's not a big fan of us. We did kill a few people. Yeah, so it might require point... some smoothing over of the edges. So, a point is with Azula, capture and throw in a cage and forget about it, or what? I think we cross that bridge if she comes across us again. We don't really need to deal with her personally. It's true. Do, do you have says, a crush on her or something? Um, does he? He looks at you. I don't know. Right now, curiously, uh, I, I'm picking up. I'm, I'm picking up some vibes, LJ. Wait, LJ. Or What's Andre? this? Oh, LJ. I got confused. <laughs> Unless Andrea has a crush on her. Hey, uh, dude, no, you're I'm, thinking of zero. Dude, I know you're new. But you can ask one of them. She is not my type. Yeah, he Fair. more he more goes for uh, uh, handsome bardic types. No, oh, I, uh, I start looking uh, concerned. Uh, so, <laughs> who are we talking about? Uh, LJ. Well, apparently LJ is uh, flirting with me now. Oh, okay. Well. If Just completely there. out of character, I think you're thinking of Nasira, who had a thing with a vampire going on. Yeah, Nasira had mm. a crush on, uh, what's her name? But I yeah. don't think any of us actually know about that. Yeah. No. Which makes it even Oh, I was just up. based off of what, uh, LJ was saying. He, he, he... Yeah. Oh, sorry. Well, my sister is beautiful, but she's poison. I would, uh, I would not go near her. That sounds like LJ's type. But, um, uh, yeah, so what's the plan? Uh, Vethmel, did, did, uh, I thought I heard you no, uh, start speaking. Uh, well, if you're ready, I can lead you to Lord Abra. Well, we were talking about whether or not we wanted to try and just talk with the pit gang or not, still. Didn't we? I think we should uh, talk with the Pit King because the more allies we have to go to deal with the Steel Shadow or just the pressure here in town is uh, best. Sounds like you were talking about killing him from what I fucking heard. <laughs> what? No. Kaiba? No. Yeah. I swear I heard one of y'all mention something about killing him. No. No. <laughs> Okay. The, I think Fat Mill's just out. hungry. That would be, uh, right, sorry. That'd be difficult Murder since we're now surrounded by his people, not just him and his like elite guards. Uh, I wouldn't say that in character. I wouldn't say that. Oh, I thought you were talking in character. So, well, no, uh, um, Davian would say, uh, I have character. a question. Um, Voli, did you just say your sister was beautiful? And he says, well, isn't she? And he says, yeah, it's just odd since you're her brother. And he says, well, I'm told she's beautiful. 
<laughs> I feel like there's a difference between saying I have a beautiful sister and I have a hot sister. You know what I mean? Beautiful is a nice compliment. It's not like he's saying she's hot or sexy. What are you from Alabama? <laughs> It's canon. That's canon. It's canon. <laughs> canon, we have Alabama. All right. Uh, <laughs> so he uh, seems a little self-conscious. He's like, look, I, I am told by others that she is... Uh, you know what? I don't have to explain myself. Look, Davian. I'm with you here, Voli. I think that was completely innocent. <laughs> Davian hey. kind of smiles and says, my apologies. I just uh, haven't been involved in a conversation for a bit. So we are okay. safe to walk around this strange underground ruin, though. I might go have a yeah. have a little exploration. Just, you know, if anyone tells you don't go somewhere, don't. So yeah, I'm I, uh, I'm a very nice guest, very considerate. I whisper to Doodles, and I'm kind of like lean really far down, and I'm like, who the hell is this guy? As I point to Davian. Oh, you know, he, I've been asking but, the uh, wrong guy. Yeah. I don't know. You're asking the wrong guy, guy and Andrea probably put that with his, what, I, 23 passive? Davian was one of the people that uh, was um, with Voli and his uh, guard when you rescued them. So he's the he's friends of the, he's some uh, friend of the Grey Wanderers, but you don't know much about who he is. Okay. Yeah, you know he's a friend of ours, you just don't know why we met. He was Gosh. with uh, Dosha, Ellen, and Marin in the cave. Ah. Uh, um, I'm, I'm curious yeah. of nothing you said, Doodles. What the fuck do you think is my type? Well, apparently it's me. You probably like my afro. Don't be fooled by my height. Just because I'm short doesn't mean I'm small. Davian says, How's, how's it go? That... How's it go? Uh, built, built, <laughs> like a, hung like a. I, yeah. You know, Davian just kind of like lean, leans back wide eye, like, okay, damn. Okay, I'm not. I'm not gonna say that wasn't bad, but here's the funny part: I'd rather shoot myself before dating you. Oh God. Well, uh, shoot. Uh, I've been rejected. You are not my type in any that. way, shape, or form. Davian. Denial is more than just a river in the Egypt. Davian would say, uh, also, is is that an Afro doodles? I feel like your your hair is just kind of unkempt. Or you may be in an explosion. Not, not, <laughs> um, not, to, uh, not to be insulting, my apologies. Uh, you, no, no, I, I understand. Uh, it, it's not a, yeah, you're, you're absolutely right, but it is kind of fro -y. Davian would nod and say, uh, well, I'm going to uh, kind of get settled in with Mirren and Ellen. Uh, let me know if you need anything from us. Sweet. Thank you. Call if you need us. All right. So yeah. he takes off. Voli gives him kind of a dirty look. It's like, I don't think my sister's hot. It's weird. <laughs> <laughs> he adjusts his head uncomfortably. <laughs> Inside check. <laughs> I'm just being a dick. Yeah, fuck it. Inside check. <laughs> On what? If he thinks his sister's hot? Uh, sure. You can oh my do an god! Check if you want. Oh no. You got a nat 20. God damn it. Wow. <laughs> what, a, what a waste of a 20. Uh, <laughs> you uh, don't think he actually thinks his sister's hot. <laughs> Ruined it. The uh, <laughs> the mystery has been solved with a nat twenty. <laughs> Ruby, 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 I solved it. You know, part of me wishes that was a wand, just to keep the <laughs> keep the mystery alive. Yeah, just so that LJ's like, I got my eye on you. <laughs> What's going on? <laughs> Right, so uh yeah anyone wants to do anything shall we just pass some time do you want to go speak to kyber uh, is there like a like a kitchen here or something like a rest area like what what, what are we what are we doing so you're kind of in a back know. area that is nearby where the kind of common like where the where the gang stays uh but it is kind of like a private area uh it is kind of dusty you don't think this has been used in a while 
Uh, it seems like just a couple of stone rooms together. But uh, yeah, it doesn't seem like there's any kitchen or anything. Like, uh, give me, um, I guess give me a history check. Maybe you know something about these ruins. Uh, all right, let me pull my character and sheet anyone out. Anyone can make that roll. DC is 12. I'll give her a go. I've got pretty good history. Nope. I stopped how random it's Zachary on the 12. So these ruins, uh, like the others, look like they might have been elven. Uh, and you would guess this area uh, may have been part of some kind of underground uh, aqueduct, like um, a water flow system. So yeah, not really meant to be inhabited, like lived in. Do I but get it's all dry right on my now, age. at least this area is. Do you get a what? Do I get a vantage place on my age? You're not um, that much older than me. <laughs> no, we're, I mean, this is from a different cycle. This place is like millennia old. Uh, oh, that old? Okay. Yeah. These are, <clears throat> these are really old ruins. You know, but... do you... Uh, do you... um? How old is your... You know what? All right, I'll do it in character. Um, LJ, how old are you? I keep hearing you mention it. That is the point. We have three Elven blood people now. How old are Elf? One of them is super young. Yeah, I'm Whoa. pretty young. I I know we had. A, I was originally really goddamn young, and we had a discussion about it, and I changed it. I haven't got the exact age. I haven't been keeping track of it. But simply put, I am older than Kendall Home. <clears throat> um. Would I know how old Candleholm is, Lou, or anything like that? Uh, do you even know what Candleholm is? Give me a give me a history <laughs> check. Okay. I don't think you you might know. Uh, no, Doubt you, it. You're like no. Oh. You think that's some kind of nearby community? You have no idea how old it is. You I think it's about. There. Let's see. I know I'm not older than Candleholm, but I think it's about two hundred years. Yeah. That's. Very I young. can tell you. That's I not... can tell you the exact age. Just give me a second. Wait, how old are I... you, Vesmil? I have well, a feeling. You, considering what you just said, I feel like you're the oldest of the group. I may be. I'm quite an old man. As I portray Lars, it's more to the truth. So yeah. how old are you? I'm a thousand years old. Good mother of Jesus. <laughs> What the fuck? How can the elf live that wrong? What? Wait a second. That would... That would make you... Alive during... The burning. Oh, I wasn't here at the time. I'm from the Feywilds. That oh, makes yeah, sense. That Time's weird in the uh, Feywilds. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep, that would do it. That's the caveat. Wait. Wait. Wouldn't that make you less than a thousand years old in terms of all since time is weird in the Feywild? Well, I mean, in this different. in this world, time in the Feywild and Shadowfell are not weird. They're the same. Oh, hmm. sorry. Oh, all right. But yeah. uh, you still could have been there for a long time. Yeah, that's where he's originally from. So, uh, so Voli would say, uh, "When did you become a spawn?" Even elves don't live a thousand years. I was going to say, even the elder of my temple is only about 600. Uh, yeah, I can see that. He's very old by our standards. So, out of character, I don't know much about Lord Trevorrow. Uh, <clears throat> I was thinking like 400 years, Lou. What, what, what do you, so, what do you think? Uh, I mean, it's uh, so then what you would have been 600 as an elf when you were yeah. turned? Yeah. Uh, it's That's... possible. This city has actually been here. Uh, this wasn't established during uh, <clears throat> during the uh, um, cataclysm. This city is actually pretty old. Uh, it's uh, it was down here for probably close to a thousand years. So the city is okay. maybe a little Let's... older than you are. Okay, I'm gonna say I'm gonna say um, then or in character I say. 
I've been a spawn for 500 years. Holy nods, this is interesting. It's a grueling experience. I wouldn't recommend it. Yeah, it seems like uh, serving or being forced to serve someone is... Uh, I mean, some of us have to do it anyway, but like having that magical control is not, uh, not, not ideal. Well, if some valiant adventurers could possibly free me from my bonds, I would be forever grateful. Until when then, you... I live to serve, sadly. Well, he says, oh, plot and... twist. Inspired. And when what you say, are... free you from your bonds, what do you mean? Yeah. I think it's quite implied. No, it's are not. You, are you asking us to kill uh, Lord's, uh, the Lord? That... Oh, I the could never ask you to do uh, something so heinous as you Inside would. check. As, as he waits. I mean, I'm not the biggest fan of House Abra, but I feel like attacking them while we're enemies of my sister might not be the best move. I mean, I you don't even have to roll insight. You're pretty, it's pretty obvious what he is suggesting. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, uh, LJ has no idea, though. I don't know how I'm much... I'm keeping Jedi 3. Like... <laughs> so, uh, out of character... I have figured out Candlehome is actually 200 years old as of this coming year. So you're super young as an elf. Yes, if you want to go that. Well, sure. 200 I'm, years I'm is young. It's like, um, I, I guess it's like a young adult. I don't think it's super young. Middle aged. Well, I'm 138. Elves live, what, 800 years? 750, so effectively 800. Yeah, years. so it's like a young adult elf. It's like you're in your 20s if you're 200. But well, to be fair, I, said, I yeah. never said my exact age. I just said I was older than Kenda yeah. Home. Uh, well, well, at least in any case, I think I'm going to take a nap. It's been a bit of a day. and uh, great. Yeah, as much as I uh, enjoy talking to you all, I could definitely use some sleep. Uh, but let me know if you need anything. And he'll uh, kind of go off to the side to one of the rooms. Lay down his Have a good night. lay down his sleeping bag and close the door. Um, I ask Doodles, <clears throat> Doodles, do you know any recipes that are perhaps well uh, bloody? Oh, let me see if they got any uh, steaks around here. Oh, actually, I have this. Actually, it, it, it's an old family recipe. My grandpa used to be a butcher. Um, but he made the best duck blood soup, so I'll see if I can uh, whip up some some some, some uh, blood soup for you. Get him a bloody mary. Sounds excellent. Um, uh, we also uh, I can also make some blood sausage, but that'll take a few weeks, maybe a day, two days. I feel like Vesmo would like some black pudding. <laughs> God. <laughs> Gross. Um, uh, but yeah, let me let me get started on that for you. We'll see what we can do. Right, I so mean, then... technically speaking, vampires are supposed to drink blood fresh. They're not supposed to cook it. <laughs> give, give uh, me a, give me a it'll be a, if you want to benefit like, from it. It'll, it'll be a uh, cold, cold so soup. He's just being nice to um, to Doodles. All right. <laughs> it's gazpacho. <laughs> Pop of blood. All right. So yeah, what do you all want to do? So do we want to talk to Kyber, or do we want to just rest for the day? I think we're rested. I'd be down to rest for the day. I don't know. Uh, I might Great try to nice. uh, yeah. purchase some adventuring items, because uh, I don't have much more than what's in my bag right now. And, yeah. All right. Uh, so do you want to go and try to purchase some stuff from the Thieves Guild? Uh, if I could do that at book price, it would be awesome. Uh, so, uh, you gonna go talk to Kyber about, uh, purchasing stuff? Oh, I gotta talk to him. Well, yeah. You uh, do we want to talk to him tonight? Or, uh, should we just, just rest for the night? 
Um, I think if we want to go shopping, we should get a bunch of our. Well, does stuff. anybody else want to go shopping? No, I'm. What I'm saying is, I think we should delay shopping. Um, cool. until Perfect. because all of our like stuff we could trade with, except for some money, which we don't have an obscene amount of, is on the ship. Okay. Like all the magic items we don't use and stuff like that. Yeah. I feel so, like if we want to buy stuff, it'd be better to have that stuff with us to trade. Great. And let's just wait. So and rest for the night. As you are talking, uh, there is knock at the door. Oh. Do we want to open it? Yeah. I, I'll start going towards the door and just say yes. Uh, a familiar voice says... Uh, Kyber wishes to have dinner with all of you, uh, if you're not too tired. Uh, you think it's Nancy. And who was Nancy again? The vampire. The vampire. The vampire lady. Oh. I immediately go... I, I definitely go open the door to see if it's her. Alright. Uh, can you give us uh, ten minutes to get ready? So she uh, she smiles as you open the door. She says, "I'm sure ten minutes would be fine." Uh, he uh, generally has dinner uh, around this time, but I'm sure they'd be willing to wait. Fancy meeting you here. She says, "Yeah, it's good to see you all again." You notice her tone has uh, changed a bit from when you were talking to her at the end. She seems a little different somehow. Less, is it like uh, less work girl, more natural? Yeah, like less uh less entertainer, less uh flirty, more just kind of straightforward. The, the, this is the real her, basically. Probably. Uh, Hospitality and like your work customer voice versus your normal voice. Yeah. She's uh, not yeah. trying to get tips. And actually, <laughs> uh Vethmill, you yeah, recognize you her. <sighs> Uh, you know that she is a spawn like you. Uh, you guys are actually kind of friends. Oh, okay, cool. Uh, she smiles and says, Veth Mill. Uh, and you know her name is Atala. Uh, oh, well. <laughs> I, uh, do I know, do I also know her working name? I don't know that I would give away her, um, her name as, as she gave away mine. Uh, yeah, well, you know she kind of goes by a couple of different names. Okay. All right, so Atala, you said? Yeah. I, uh, I, I smile, and I, I walk over and uh, give her a big bear hug, and I say, Atala. I immediately give her, like, an eye, like, hmm? She says, uh, yes, that is my real name. So nice to I see you here. So are you with um? Are you with the Abra family, by chance? She says no. Oh, okay. I'm. Uh, I just work with. Uh, well, I'm part of the pit gang. Um, oh, yeah. Did we interrupt the uh, uh, Vesno? I don't think so. Maybe. But, I apologize um, if I did. She says it's good to see you, Vesno. I didn't realize uh, you were down here with them. I'm surprised Kyber uh, let you in here. You know, there's a little bit of a tenuous relationship between House uh, uh, Abra and the Pit Gang right now. Yes, I don't think he really had a choice. I, I may have drank a few of his people, but um, it would have ended badly for him if he didn't allow us to enter. Well... These things happen, she says, especially in our circles. Uh, so, yeah, you don't know too much about Atala's uh, origin or who her sire is, but you know mm -hmm. she's been within the city. She's actually a younger vampire. Uh, she was turned about 50 or so years ago. Okay. Younger. Yeah. So uh, you kind of knew her before and after. Um, cool. she, she's definitely embraced the coldness of being, uh, 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 what's it called? A, uh, Dampier yeah. slash spawn. Yeah. Nice. Um, yeah, she was definitely, uh, more of a good person before. Kind of fell away when she was turned. 
Uh, but anyway, she would say, uh, Kyber will, uh, will be expecting you, but uh, take your time. I'll let him know that you're still getting settled in. And she would uh, leave unless uh, anyone's saying Wait, anything. wait. Are you undercover right now? What do you mean? Well, why? Why are you here with Kyber? She says, because I'm in the pit gang. So you are undercover? No, I'm in the pit gang. Do I believe her? Uh, she is in the pit gang. She's telling the truth. I was just curious. She's just not. She's not how Sabra. I'm sorry if I like. If oh, I. If I yeah, confuse you. Uh, yes. Okay. All no, right. you know yeah. her, but she's not. Uh, she's not a family <laughs> okay, vampire. So I. I, re I retract what I said. Then. Yeah, okay. Yeah. That. That makes more sense now. Yeah. She. Uh, you're not sure if someone turned her by force or what happened, but she isn't very fond of your family. I'll just say mm. that. She doesn't really like House Opera. You suspect... Yeah, you suspect uh, something happened to her and uh, your house was responsible. Something that she didn't want to happen. Well, obviously, I wouldn't I wouldn't pry into that. That's her personal business. Oh, yeah, no. She never would have talked about it with anyone that, uh, yeah. and you never would have found out. At least not yet. Uh, but anyway, she uh, is going to take her leave unless anyone says anything. See you in ten minutes. She says, yeah, I'll see you then. And she walks off. Uh, I, uh, I say to Doodles, uh, I say, We've been on quite as many successful hunts together when we had time. I just want to point out that this place was attacked by vampires and they have a vampire in working for them. Yeah, what do you I think the chances you. are that they know she's a vampire. <laughs> well, uh, I'm sure yeah. they do. She doesn't quite eat everything that they do. It's very obvious, eventually. Uh, Vesna, what were you asking me before? Uh, I missed that. Oh, were you dealing with Codium? <laughs> uh... No, I got distracted, but yeah. So, Vethmil said that uh, he was just telling you on how he had been on some successful hunts. Oh, yeah, that's right. Yeah, that's that cool. With with uh, Atala, as you called her? Yeah, how do you say it, Lou, exactly? Atala, yeah. A A Atala? Yeah, she should, uh, the name should be changed in the journal now. Oh, but I yeah, didn't... it's uh, Atala. All right. um, and Doodles is sitting with his little blunt tray rolling blunts uh, frantically because uh, he only has 10 minutes to make enough to last an entire dinner. Can you make me one? Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. I've, I've already made five, but here you go. All right. <laughs> All right well, One smoking vampire. I don't know if that would affect you very much. I would assume without a uh, circulatory system... Such things would not do much for you. Ah, you don't breathe, bud. Yeah. That's okay. It's a, it's a, a ceremonial thing. Almost. Well, I used to enjoy these quite fondly, but... <sighs> and I, I just, uh, I just put it back down. Some say, uh, three, three cups of tea. I, I say three blunts. <laughs> Great. Oh, you gave Kyber a new token as well. He looks cool now. Yeah, no, um, I uh, I changed him from the the default one. Uh, all right, <laughs> so you guys get settled in and uh, are going to go speak with Kyber. Have dinner. That's what it sounds dinner. like. Uh oh, El yeah, uh, Eldwin. I haven't heard you at all. Uh <laughs> it's like. It's kind of, like, I was just thinking, like, I wonder if, like, she knows anything about those uh, other vampires we've come across. That's what and I was thinking. The fact that she's not part of Abra, and then there's this rogue faction going on. So, it ha like, maybe it's the same 
uh, the same person that changed or gathered all those other vampires together. Or she's, it's just very convenient that there's another vampire here. Well, there are quite a few uh, vampires within the city. Uh, not all of them are House uh, Abra. The uh, cool. vampires don't always uh, do exactly as they're supposed to and sometimes do uh, create spawn that they were not supposed to. Uh, are, uh, are, the, are there like signs in the city saying, hey, watch out for vampires kind of stuff? Is, is that like some signage that's up? Uh, there aren't signs up, but uh, there are actually hunters that go after oh. vampires who kind of step out of line. Uh, the hunters are kind of uh, on the take from the houses, though, so they leave uh, people like you and uh, House Avra's vampires alone. Like, they oh. know who the okay vampires are. It's not a full genocide, it's just vampire cops effectively yeah it's yeah. kind of calling the uh the predators to keep uh, too many people from dying or being turned yeah and the only reason they haven't gone after veth mill even though he is a predator is because uh you're a uh, house abra so you're house abra. protection yeah so that that works yeah he's like he's like ripping ripping the spines out of people you know predator style <laughs> <laughs> jesus all right. This is, this, is a this is a this is a bad place. Um, all right. So you go see Kyber. Uh, he welcomes you. He says, "Ah, sit, my friends. I was just about to uh, start up with uh, with dinner. There's much we should discuss." No, I like that. Part. That's what it sounds like. That's pretty good. Yeah. So you guys start eating, and he says, "Before I uh, get to what I, I don't, wanted to... I was about to say, <laughs> who? Yeah, I'm not eating either. I have fuck. I have flashbacks from the Stevenson chicken. I, I like it's. I inspect my food for the. Uh, you take a look at your food. Do you have uh, alchemy or anything? <laughs> Doodles cast a spell. All right, so before you start eating, uh, Doodles does a bit of uh, chanting over the food. And, uh, yeah, um, what does the spell do exactly? Get rid of any poison or disease that was on it. <laughs> All right, so, yeah, I guess you wouldn't know if there was poison on it, but it, now you know that it is not poisoned or uh, rotted or anything. We just go, sorry. I'm also going to use uh, Prestidigitation to make it smell good. Well, it does already He's... smell good. That's but, some uh, good. Seat. Yeah, this Sorry. is this is pretty. This is fairly high quality food that he has at his table. Um, you notice some of the guys from before that you fought are here too, uh, also eating. Like his, Sorry for uh, being over cautious. It's a bad experience from last time we shared a meal. Says, "Oh, what did you cast? I assumed it was guidance or something." It's a, a purification. Ah, purify food and water. Yeah, it's a useful spell. That would make sense with what you all just went through. Um, yes, well, feel free. Spell. But uh, I promise you, I have no intention of poisoning you. At least not yet, anyway. <laughs> uh, Call it being overcautious for now. He takes a bite of his uh, steak. He says, um, but uh, in any case, before I start, uh, do any of you have any questions for me? I think there's much to discuss, but I, I want to make sure you're all informed about uh, anything you might uh, be curious about. Uh, Alright, well... I mean, I, I'm somewhat new to the area. Uh, the pit gang seems to have, have quite a hold so around here, right? Doodles, you're quite well known among my men for your uh, working at uh, Finnegan's Flint. Um, uh. I know you haven't been there too long, but uh, your uh, your nachos and your uh, service and your stories are quite legendary among my people. Nachos. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Well, I appreciate that. You know, I always enjoy serving. You you, you have some uh, good crew most of the time. Uh, they they 
can get a little wild when they've had one too many pints. Uh, that they do. But that's everybody. Yeah, so uh, well, the rest of us, except for Veth Mill and Doodles, I think have been here. What? I think this is our third day here. <laughs> Says, yes, the um, Grey Wanderers. I did not know too much about you, and then uh, suddenly I was in battle with you and uh, one of the House Abra slayers, which uh, made me very uh, concerned. So, down, down, down in the down, down where we were before, we uh, ran into uh, it seemed almost like uh, rabid vampires. I mean, every vampire is somewhat rabid, but as you can see, this one over here, he behaves himself pretty well. Yeah, you know, he, he, he's pretty civilized. There were, there were others down there who were attacking your people. You know anything about them? Says as you look over, uh, Vethmill's drooling and kind of like wiping his drool. <laughs> Says we are still investigating that. Um, I had thought it was a play uh, by House Abra against me and my people, though it confused me as I did not uh, know of any ill will that uh, that uh, Stravaro held against me. But yes, I, I don't think it was his people. Um, I don't know who it was. I mean... Do you, you, know, of, do you know of any vampires who aren't part of the Abra family? He says, oh, well, there are many. I mean, I have one in my ranks. Um, uh, I was just doing a prodding question to see if he actually knew or not. <laughs> Um, the uh, the vampires, uh, yeah, I mean, House Abra is responsible for many of them, but uh, not all of them are controlled by uh, uh, Stravaro. Yeah. Uh, who is this Wooly, Wooly Stravaro to you? Uh, Stravaro... Is Wooly to you? Well, no, Wooly is uh, Stevenson. Stravaro is the name of the Abra house oh, head. sorry. Uh, he would say. Uh, um, but, uh, he says, Voli, uh, he seems like a nice guy. I've, uh, I've spoke to him a few times. Um, not as much seems, a fan uh, of his sister. Yeah, interesting. Yeah, the, not many people are. I mean, I feel like she needs to be taken out. She's kind of a jerk. Um, but I don't, I don't know how to do that. This is um, a, uh, a tricky... A tricky uh, venture to be sure um, I don't think there is a good way of taking her out she has quite yeah. the backing unfortunately yeah, yeah. he says I have um, power and... down here because the tunnels confuse those who don't know them but uh, a mm. direct attack against her house I'd be fighting her the Stravaro the Steel Shadow and uh, and house uh, deep fire it would be suicide yeah. Do you know where their safes are? I feel like they have a lot of wealth that uh, could easily be taken. This is, I assume, their but, safes are in their houses. I wouldn't know. I wouldn't say it would be easy to get to them. Yeah. It says I have. Uh, cool. I have a good amount of wealth no myself. There are easier ways to make money than stealing from the most powerful families in the city. Yeah, I know. I know. I know. Cool. Says, uh, uh, but yeah, no. Are you a heister, Doodles? I thought you were a bartender. Oh, I absolutely am a bartender, but I like money. Money's cool. Do I believe him that he's just a bartender? Uh, well, I mean, you well, know he's not you? just a bartender. You've seen him do magic and sure. uh, basically sure. like okay. make little firework, uh, you know, bardic inspirations. So, uh, fair. give me a. Uh, I guess. Go ahead. Uh, what, what were you saying, uh, Elbwin? Like, he's basically halfway to the uh, level twenty uh, shopkeeper meme. Yeah, I guess. <laughs> I guess it's more. Do I believe that he took the heist? Uh, well, I mean, if you want, you can give me an Arcana check. Uh, DC, I'll say twelve. Well, oh, God. All right. I'm very so bad. So he is some kind of magic user. You don't know exactly what he is, though. Oh, I was talking more about just him as a person. Like, do I believe that he wouldn't just steal from, like, very oh, powerful I people? Don't know. I mean, Doodles is kind of an enigma. He's done some crazy shit, so who knows? I was just being cheeky. Yeah. Uh, well, um, go ahead. But yeah, I don't have many other... Many other I mean, you know, like, if, if you ever... It'd be cool. 
it'd be cool to steal something cool. I haven't done that in a while. Okay, now um, I definitely know he would steal. This as well. But uh, I don't have anything, uh, any other questions. I don't know if my friends here do. Um, I, but, but I say friends very loosely. Um, I've only known these folks for a few days, so I don't know how much you want to associate me with them. There's times I do want to be associated with them, but there's other times where uh, I, I'd rather be my own little being. Well, I definitely know you better than I know them. Does anyone lead your group, he says, kind of looking at Eldwin and Onvir? I kind uh, of end up stepping up the most. Um, and uh, are you a mercenary group from Candle? Is that what, I, is what I've heard correct? That you're some sort of uh, uh, heroes over there? Yeah, I would, I would say we're just a, a group of a collective that decided to seek right more than mercenaries. Sure, we've been paid for some of our work, but it was more like, God, this is terrible, we need to do something. He laughs and he says, well, you certainly made a name for yourself in uh, Revan's Pass. Uh, those who tried to slay Azula Stevison, <laughs> enemies of the city. Uh, not necessarily a heroic reputation, but certainly a reputation that would have value with some of the uh, some of the people of the city. To be fair, it's also not a true reputation. He says, well, unfortunately, uh, truth is not as important in these matters. This is how you'll be seen by most of the people. At fair. least until you're able to clear the air. If you're able to clear the air. He says, uh, now, uh, was there any other questions? He says, I wanted to uh, get a few things straight. Um, this isn't a charity, so staying here, uh, I will require payment from you all. Uh, That's fair. I think we'll be leaving after tonight. Then, oh, uh, what sort of payment? What sort of payment, bud? Let's, uh, yes, let's talk this. Let's talk out. this. Yes. Because there might be some cool things we could do for you. You know, if you want me to break into one of those castles, that, that, that'd be fun. I get part This of is not a deal that is actually on the table. <laughs> He says, uh, if you want to break into one of the family's houses, that's your business. I have no interest uh, in making an enemy of uh, any of the three, or the Steel Shadow. They, uh, any any of them, uh, would be, uh, there's easier ways to make formidable, them. but you, you keep saying that. Uh, but yeah, no, I don't think we got any more questions. Uh, you say payment. Says, what sort yes. of payment are you looking for? Uh, so it would require 20 gold pieces a night for each of you. Uh, cool. Um, is there any way we could reduce that? I mean, not sexual stuff. I don't know about LJ over there, but uh, I can't do yeah. that anymore. Give me a persuasion check, uh, DC 15. So he says, uh, yeah, there's probably some stuff you could do to uh, bring the price down. I mean, basically, it's just like... Uh, like a double aristocratic upkeep. And uh, he says, I would also feed you and give you access to all the guilds, uh, amenities, the markets. Uh, so there is some stuff that comes along with being down here. But um, I, after the attacks, I, uh, I kind of need the money to help shore up uh, my defenses. That's, that's uh, fair. We, we are partially responsible that, for that in, in the middle of all that misunderstanding. He says, uh, all my weed seems to have disappeared. He looks directly at Doodles, who's smoking his weed. <laughs> oh, uh, you, you want a blunt? I don't know what happened. You, know, you have weed here? No, who no, knows? No. Um, so Vethmil reaches into his, uh, uh, side, he has a side pouch, and he pulls out a, uh, a bag of, of weed and, and tosses it to, uh, to uh, Kyber and says, um, ah, "Sorry, I, I couldn't resist." And I, it, so it's uh, fifty gold pieces worth. He says, "Well, that's a start, but I will still be charging the uh, the twenty per night." Um, as for reducing it, uh, I'll I'll think about that. Maybe uh, maybe there's something I can find for you all to do to help me out. Being talented mercenaries, there's probably some tasks I can give you. Maybe even uh, let you stay here for free if you prove to be valuable. 
but yeah, for now, uh, it's going to be 20 a night. If you want to leave, that's fine, though I wouldn't recommend it. Like I said, you're kind of wanted criminals within the city. This is one of the only safe havens. I don't know, maybe House of Opera, he says, kind of looking over at Bethnal. So, yes, that's where we were planning to go. He says, though I'm guessing uh, Lord uh, Stravaro is probably under close watch since during the escape one of his uh, vampires was spotted with uh, your people. <clears throat> I don't know, though. I'm not sure what he has planned. So... Uh, that's pretty much all I had to say. Um, I have a quartermaster who sells goods if you need supplies. Uh, food is on the house, so you can call it uh, part of the uh, the price of entry. And you have your private area. No one will bother you over there unless you wish them to. Um, uh, I do have uh, other services that uh, you could partake in. Um, and yeah, that's all I really have. Any questions? Uh, yes. Uh, okay, so Vesmo looks kind of curious and like, what? What other services do you provide? She says, "Well, I mean, one of my uh, one of my thieves does work at the brothel. That should give you a uh, a hint." <laughs> oh, uh, I see. And then he just kind of like makes like a Ugh, face, and you know. Like Omni is right there with you. <laughs> <laughs> like, he wouldn't want to do that to it, like his friend. He's like, oh. Uh, other than that, uh, well, she's not the only one who provides those services, but... Uh, you, there's multiple? Okay. Yeah, he says, I I mean, our, our gang owns the, uh, the brothel, so we have some people, but um, also we have the, uh, the, well, what's left of our weed. He says, someone stole most of it, and again, looks directly at Doodles. <laughs> Uh, we'll be we'll be acquiring more over time, as well as other uh, recreational um, substances. And, oh uh, yeah! Oh yeah! Let me know, and I can get in on that. Well, oh, all right. Uh, yeah, just come talk to uh, one of the quarter we'll masters. Do. It's a shame about the weed. This is yeah, quite. Um, but yeah, that's all I have. If you have any other questions, uh, I'd be happy to answer them. Otherwise, enjoy your food. This, uh, this steak is divine. He takes another bite. If you don't mind oh, me already asking, finished it. Like, if you don't mind me asking, what exactly are your relationships with uh, the different houses in the Steel Shadow? Uh, well, I provide them with uh, goods. So they let me continue to operate as I'm useful to them. Uh, the Steel Shadow doesn't really have a relationship with the Pit Gang. Uh, the Steel Shadow more exists here because they are um, supported by the Empire. And the Empire has them here to kind of keep an eye on this place. Uh, it's a political move. Um, I don't know who holds the reins of the Steel Shadow. I'm assuming one of the households within the Empire, one of the noble houses. <clears throat> he says, uh, if any of you know cool. that, I would be happy to pay you for that information. I am uh, also curious. Uh, what kind of payment are we talking about? Because uh, I, I, I think Onvia does know. What is that history for? Uh, it wouldn't be a history check. Um, the Steel oh, Shadow are kind of like a clandestine mercenary group. Uh, you know they've served many different houses, so it's hard to say who they're serving right now. Could I? Is, I feel like Omri can hinder a pretty safe guess. Well, you know that they were working for, uh, what's his name's house? Um, Foxheart. Yeah, the Foxhearts, but you're not sure if they are necessarily the ones who control the Steel Shadow as a whole. Sure. Yeah, you'd probably need to uh, do some digging to get that information. That's some info we could potentially find. We have to but go. But that said, Kyber might not know of uh, of the Foxhearts uh, wishing to seek out the you know the leyline people. So that's certainly something you could tell him. There's 
I don't know if we know exactly that info, but we definitely know some info involving them. Oh, do you want to mention that? Oh yeah, sorry, I was saying that in character. Oh, I see, I see, sorry. Uh, he says... Sometimes uh, I forget to switch back. <laughs> so, he kind of considers you a moment. He says, uh, well... I'll tell you what, if you want to give me some information on the Steel Shadow, and I find it valuable, I'll, uh, I'll give you a few days for free here. I kind of look around the group, like, to see, do we think this is worthwhile? I like it. You. Not like everyone knows. <laughs> Most people I don't think actually know what I'm even talking about, except for... No. Really? Yeah, I think you, Eldwin, Noodle. and uh, Sierra, who isn't technically here. Maybe Leo? LJ to an extent, I guess, because he did travel with us for a little bit. So yeah, you okay. definitely think he's interested. Yeah, because Leo was with us when we came back with Scarlet, so you... I can see. Like, if we tell him more, we might be able to uh, convince him to help us. You certainly can, he says, smiling. <laughs> As I said, if you turn out to be useful to me, I'd be happy to make you actual allies and not just have you pay me for my hospitality. I... okay. Yeah, I think I'll tell him the story, but I won't mention that they're looking specifically for, like, Ellen, Mirren, and like I'm not going to mention like Davian being relation, any relations I'm going to assume we've also uh, ja Davian has been going by James here So you tell him that the Foxhearts uh, have the Steel Shadow looking for what? People who, like uh, people, like ways to detect ley lines and um, energies of that nature He says, what are ley lines? They're like, I I don't have the best knowledge I of mean, it. I think maybe Eldwin can describe it better. Look, Ralph. Like ley lines are basically po like powerful uh, flows of magic, and if no one stops them, Eldwin will just start going on a full-on rant. So, like, uh, full-on lecture. Full lecture about ley lines. Eldwin knows. knows nothing about ley lines, so ley lines, so he wouldn't stop you. All right, uh, so he's listening. Sorry, let me check something. Uh, he kind of looks over to his wizard, the evoker who you were fighting, who seems very interested in what you're saying. He says, do you know what they're talking about? And he says, oh yes. Uh, magical ley lines run all through the deep in Gaian. Um, Though, I never knew anyone to be able to see them. Are you sure this is real? Um, Looking at uh, Eldwin. Very sure. Do you know who can see them? Did the Steel Shadow know? Uh, uh, the Steel Shadow... I, I think... I'm gonna say... Everyone can glare at me later uh, you want, but I feel like this is gonna be the safest decision, and I will reveal... That Scarlet can, but I won't. I'm not mentioning Miri or. Oh, that's, um, Ellen. <laughs> that's what I was about to do. <laughs> okay, we had the same wavelengths. Good. He says, Scarlet, who is this? Is the this is the person we're trying to save from the Steel Shadow base? Ah, so they've captured this girl who can see these ley lines. I see. Yes, uh, they had uh, kidnapped her from us uh, in Candleholm, hence why we came here originally. That's very interesting. Does uh. How some um, uh, does Lord Stravaro know of this? He looks to Vethmel and kind of you guys. We haven't really met, met Stravaro at all yet, so no. All right. Uh, I, I... So he would say, uh, "Tell me the whole story," and are you going to tell him the whole story? You don't I have will to actually but... tell him, but yeah. Yeah, I will, but I'm still going to leave out Mira and Ellen. And, okay, um, so just that they David. captured this girl who you had saved uh, from them. And uh, and that we had um, gone on 
like looking for leads and it and kept fighting the steel ship. Do you uh, kept... do you tell him about the possibility of finding a way to the surface following the ley lines? The thing yes. that uh, the thing that the uh, the Naga told you. I am. Um... I don't know. I don't want to be yelled at for revealing this, but I also can't ask people if it's okay because that that's just too meta gaming. Yeah, you can't really ask I... people if it's okay. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. I know, I know that. I'm I'm saying that to myself so I can try and think about this. Because it is a big bit of info to drop. Alright. But um alright, so you're do you reveal that or no? Or are you still thinking about it? I I won't reveal it for now, and I'll see how he reacts to everything else. All right. So the story takes a while, but you uh, tell him everything minus the things you uh, told me. He considers all this, and he says that is quite a bit of valuable information. I can definitely use that. Uh, he looks at you closely and says, "Is there anything you're not telling me?" Or is that the whole story? Okay. I didn't want to say it at first because it, it kind of sounds a little ridiculous. I'll tell him. About the surface? I'll, I'll tell him about the surface. So, immediately, like, several of the people on his side of the table start to whisper. And he, uh, Looks like he is now deep in thought. And he says, I feel like there's something else you're not telling me. Actually, give me a deception check. Although I think he's probably going to see through the uh, stuff that you're leaving out. Look, I'm just going to tell you this right now. I have a plus two deception. Is it remotely possible for me to roll high enough to get past him? <laughs> uh, with his passive... Yeah. Uh, unlikely, okay, I'll... but maybe. Okay, I, I thought I'd just clarify, just in case it's like, yeah, even if you get a 20, nah. <laughs> okay, let's give her a go. Need, uh, at least a 19. Well, I need to roll a 19, or I need to yeah. get a total? You need to roll a 19. Oh, 19 God. Oh, <laughs> oh, my uh, God, I rolled an 18. Yeah. <laughs> So, yeah, he, uh, he, you know what, actually, he's not even going to say that. He's pretty, uh, he's pretty happy with all you've given him. Um, yeah, I gave him some pretty bloody juicy bits. <laughs> so, he's kind of deep in thought for a, a good minute before he says, uh, yeah, no, that is, that is very valuable information. Uh, consider your, consider yourself, uh, consider your, um, your fee paid at least for a good week. And he uh, says, "I, I'm sorry, I have to cut dinner short. Um, but you all stay, enjoy your food, and uh, we should talk later." And he uh, motions for his guys, who kind of get up and follow him out. Um, I, I say when he's about to leave, uh, "Where, where are the um, uh, workers of the night? If you, <laughs> by meaning." Says, well, you could go to the brothel, but um, if you just uh, ask around in the in the pit market, most of them end up. Uh, well, some of them end up here uh, at various times, but yeah, if you want to have the most uh, variety, I'd say just head over to the brothel. Now, is just for like... my, just because I feel like Nasit. Sorry, I'll let you finish your thing. Quickly. No, no. I was... Is there like a secret way up there, or no? Uh, he says, well, that's right. You guys are being hunted. Um, I'll have some of them come down. He says, you guys just hang out. <laughs> yeah, I was just going to say, I feel like Nasira would definitely be staring daggers at Onvia, and I would just say, is there any chance we could get those clothes on a very good sale to appease my friend for telling you all that information? Those what? Oh, I'm trying it's to get probably... Nasira those robe, <laughs> that fortified clothing. Oh, uh, we'll, we'll talk about that later. Um, but most likely, yes. And, uh, yeah, he's going to take his leave if no one says anything. Yeah. 
I figured we dropped some juicy info. I'd try and get those for him. No, yeah. that's that's a good idea for sure. All right. So yeah, um, Kyber and pretty much everyone else take off except uh, you guys are still there eating. I uh, yeah. The uh, I cook it. comes out with uh, the dessert. Um, Cause yeah, you guys have been there for a while eating, so I'll say he brings out like a very nice looking cake, puts it down, and they start cutting pieces for everyone. Thank you. It's delicious. Oh, thank you. I hate to say this, but the cake is not my thing. I do enjoy the steak, though. It's well made and well tended. Well seasoned, too. Could we just drop the biggest bombshell on just like a criminal <laughs> underground and then just enjoying some cake? <laughs> oh, you all are enjoying cake. They left. Oh yeah, no, that's what I meant. Like, we, they've all just gone to have an existential crisis, and we're just like, "Oh, cake!" <laughs> uh, I asked Doodles, uh, uh, "Doodles, would you like to join me for a very fun night? It's on me." Oh, always, always. Is that sounds like a great time. That should be revealed. You don't mean each other, dude. Uh, what? I think there's a note. He was asking not with each other, right? <laughs> I mean, do you want to join us, LJ? If you, I'd rather shoot myself. Good. I wasn't going to pay for you anyways. Alright, so you, uh, you finish up with your dessert, and then you all kind of go your separate ways. Yeah. I, um, just to not frighten the girls, I, I cast Disguise Self. And uh, I look like a very pretty uh, young Eladrin. More posh vampire. Yeah, well, yeah, not, not like the hideous monster he looks like. A huge beast, huge beast man. <clears throat> and he adjusts his voice. <clears throat> Doodles. Yeah, That's sure. Fun. Hmm. What the fuck is that? It's just, yeah, yeah, let's do it. All right. So you all uh, are going to, to party with the ladies. Uh, yeah, I ain't. I think Anvir and I are out. Yeah. Uh, From the sounds of it. Anvir and uh, Eldwin, are you doing anything tonight, or are you just going to bed? It's pretty late, so it's too uh, too late for downtime stuff. I think we're just going to bed. All right. Uh, so the night will... Pass uh, fairly quietly. Uh, it's now the 63rd. You're all uh, given space in your kind of private area in the pit market. Er uh, pit market. I don't even know what this is called. The guild. Uh, guild. It is now 8 a.m. Pit gang hideout? Yeah, basically. Uh, Doodles and uh, Veth Mill enjoy some uh, services from the uh, gang's people. Yeah, does that cost anything? What does it cost? Uh, so there's no upkeep I, I because of the free. information you gave. Uh, but if you uh, want, you can give them tips. Okay. Cool. Uh, uh, yeah. We're going to say that there was like four girls, so I'm going to give them five apiece. What the fuck? Cool. All right. Those girls Me love too. you. <laughs> Uh, oh, yeah, I mean, five, five gold is, uh, not, not the biggest amount for how much they usually make. I also cost them five apiece. Oh, ten each? Uh, yeah, it's a little bit better. So they, uh, they would right. thank you, because they're also getting paid by the guild for, uh, for that. Yeah, I was gonna say, that's just the tip. Yeah. Just the tip. <laughs> yeah, the pay, you know, like, you... That was not intentional. That so, was hilarious. So, in the morning, you all kind of, uh, are in your private area you're all getting ready for the day uh what do you want to do it's 8 a.m in the morning uh andrea what oh i mean fun time last night eh Vesmo? uh yes very i don't know why you uh decide to hide yourself I i'm sure some of them are into that no need to do that Oh, I'm not entirely sure that uh, these women would um, appreciate a monster as myself. 
I made myself look how I used to. Ah, I get it. I get it. Did you um, used to be smaller? <laughs> yeah, a little bit. Not much. But no, he made himself like with this guy self. He made himself look younger, and not, not and not creepy. Convir comes over to LJ and he says, LJ, I do not want you to take this the wrong way. I need you to look me in the eyes and tell me you're not going to take this the wrong way. Take what the wrong way? Just, just tell me you're not going to take this the wrong way. Yeah, sure. I'm not. Okay, I'll give him a platinum ring. Okay, I need you to wear this. <laughs> <laughs> I already have two rings on me. Oh, the ring of jersey and ring of a uh, free action. So, why the hell not? What's the third? It's it's What's just a third? ring. It's just a normal platinum ring. Voli says, finally, the two elves got together. I was wondering. <laughs> it's not happen. like that. <laughs> yeah, Don't sure, deny it. Sure, it isn't, mate. And he gives you a wink. So, the fun it's part is. Hell. Um. Everyone can previously LJ puts it on his wedding ring finger. LJ, no, why uh, would you do that? He <laughs> yeah. says, uh, isn't he a bit young for you, uh, LJ? He gives you a wink as well. Absolutely. And the worst part, the worst, the worst part is you see that I, I am also wearing a platinum ring now on my index finger. <laughs> I need us both to wear this for a spell. Don't take it the wrong way. Oh, a spell. I'm not. What do you mean? I'm totally not. Oh uh, yeah, Vethmo starts clapping. He says, "Is it the uh, <laughs> is it the holy Slow order clap. spell?" I'm gonna play have, some romantic my... music in the background. Oh, what's the name of that Wardy. spell to get married? I have oh, heard it's a uh, ceremony. 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 Is it for a ceremony spell? He gives you a wink. You yeah. getting that that saving throw bonus for a week? Oh, it's called warding bond. Uh, okay, yeah, I bet you're warding bond. <laughs> what does warding bond do? Uh, LG would ask you this in character, so he knows. Uh, I'm not gonna, like, uh, yeah, in character, it just says that it, it takes a spell slot to actually up it up for a bit, but, like, it's not always active, but, um, if I cast a spell, then you'll just be a little resilient for a little longer. Oh. Um, out, out of character, this is what it does. Oh, bones, thanks, Ian. It's, a, it's effectively... I can spend a spell slot as long as both of us are wearing the platinum ring to make it a ring of uh, uh, ring of protection for you. And resistance all damage. Wow. Okay. Oh yeah, and resistance. Oh, it buffs me. But Andrew more. takes the other half. <laughs> yeah, I take the other half. <laughs> ah, I see. There's the trade-off. Yeah, so you're not really resistant as much as you're transferring half of your damage to him. Ah. Uh -uh. I see. Oh, wait, or is it don't. the other way around? Or is he transferring half no, his you're... damage to you? No, you're right the first time. Uh, half of LJ's damage will go to Anvir. Alright. Yeah, it's a very dangerous spell, but I figure you're also tanky as shit. Yeah. It's a dangerous person to uh, pick to put that <laughs> on, I'd say. I was about to say. Yeah. Look, and now he gets. What? Well, you have to. Well, Actually, now that I'm thinking about it, maybe I should have given that to Beth, Mill. Uh, to be fair, Andre, you are betting on, like, what, with this spell, 23 AC. Also, there's a very low chance I'll even have cast the spell half the time. Yeah. Alright. How long does that last? Oh, an hour. Alright, so I he has... It, yeah. I me, I'm he, not uh, actually casting it yet. I was just putting just it there. Just giving so. him the ring. All right. Yeah. Uh, all right. Yeah. So, uh, what do you want to do? Uh, what's the plan, guys? I guess we'll check to see if Kaiba wants to talk to us at all in the morning. Uh, you would find out that Kaiba has uh, not come back since he left last night. Well, that's not good. So either he's in Which trouble is a little, or... It's a little strange. Uh, he's usually here every night. But him and all or... his people are still gone. I think you gave him too much information. 
Potentially. I'm scared. Do we see Davy and Ellen and Mira? Yeah, they're all still there. Okay, good. I mean, you didn't so tell them that they had anything to do with it. Yeah, I just wanted to make sure... Well, because, like... Yeah, I don't. Onvir doesn't know, but... <laughs> I have a feeling I didn't get past deceiving him, so I wasn't sure if maybe he figured some stuff out. True. Just wanted to check. Well, they are all still there. Uh, along with Dosha and Seal. Who is uh, looking like he really wants to go blow something up. He, he says, just blew something up. Yes, sir. Gosh. <laughs> he says, that was yesterday, Master. Now it is today, and I wish to blow something up again. Is that the frog? Yes. He yes. doesn't look like a frog right now, but yes. Oh. The one that you can't. Yeah, right. Into... He can turn into a human. I forgot about that. Wait, he can? He can. Yeah. yeah. He looks like Mungus right now. Because <laughs> like, whatever. Someone you've seen. Uh, he looks like Mungus, and he's speaking in uh, a language none of you understand. <laughs> Except oh, for. Which, which uh, is Eldwin. French Radian, the common for Elden. Yeah, Eldwin can understand him, but he's basically going. Which the oddest so language you've see. ever have ever heard. You know, so I think we're seeing Mungus talking this incoherent speech to us, basically. Yeah. So. No. Sorry. No, go ahead. I was just going to say, is there anything we wanted to do here? Or are we just going to try and go to? You try to talk to him in Sylvan. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, he stares at you and says, <laughs> and in your mind you hear pretty. <laughs> <laughs> that is the most still, uh, soul answer ever. <laughs> the only he, it seems he has telepathy. Yeah. Right. He only speaks flawed, but you can telepathically commu communicate with anyone. It's hilarious. I wonder if he would just, like, hear Sil uh, Celestial as just, like, the worst thing ever. Can't you speak Celestial? I can speak Celestial. Then about, do it! Like, Mela, like, it has, like, a melody to the words and stuff. You yeah, it's like Latin, Celestial? kind of. <laughs> There's, uh... Yeah. yeah. So, uh, yeah, he would say, uh... Anyway, uh, he uh, looks back over to Eldwin and says, uh, there's a city full of people to be blown up and melted in fire. You can't just expect me to sit down here and do nothing. What is he saying? Uh, he's very much looking forward to getting into a fight, as yeah, always. Yeah, that, that, yeah, no, that's always. It's like, look, it's like, we're probably gonna, like, we're getting... Uh, we're trying to get people together, and as soon as we get people on board, we'll be blowing other people up. He says, what about all those thieves out there? You know, if we killed them all, we could just take this place. Yeah, but, un like, unfortunately, uh, they're more useful alive right now. You say so, Master. Are we basically hearing a telephone call? One side uh, of the I assume that, um... Eldwin is probably like just talking back to him with telepathy. Because I don't think you'd understand it otherwise. Or oh, wait, actually, um, yeah, I think uh, you are able to understand him, and he can understand you because you have his crystal. I have the uh, amulet, yeah. Yeah. I, so you I wouldn't. Uh, I'm gonna say I'll, I'll just say that you can telepathy back with him because of the crystal. Otherwise, you wouldn't know the language. So, it's more just in his head. I'm just letting you all know for entertainment purposes. Uh, yeah, oh, yeah, it's very entertaining. They're just staring deeply into each other's <laughs> eyes. Just yes. Lo longing stares. Uh, <laughs> actually, actually, Seal is probably actually talking out loud because he uh, finds it entertaining to watch you all, like, be repulsed Worm. by him. <laughs> yeah. So I feel like LJ and Andre are used to it at this point. So yeah, basically what you're seeing is uh, Seal, like, blabber a bunch at uh, Eldwin, who just kind of stares at him. Because Eldwin wouldn't be speaking back. 
Alright, and uh, why don't we do a 10 minute break while you guys think about what you want to do next. Seems like a good halfway point. Fair enough. Yeah. Uh, on Bill, when you gave LJ that ring, he also says a little plus thing would be the worst thing against. I mean, I just lost until you next roll. Oh, yeah, but it's. Might as well cast it over so we don't have to worry about it. And I said, multiple uh, combat today. Yeah, oops, I didn't mean to actually hit Veth Mill. That was meant for you. <laughs> oh no, I didn't forget my blessing. Yeah, it's just because I press V to talk, so it goes to Veth Mill. Ah, <laughs> uh, that's right. You Wait, you what's up? Push it up? Don't worry, man. Don't worry about it. Look, if you're trying well, to get yeah. if you're trying to give Veth Mill the ring, he's flattered, but you know, he No, that's something else. Oh, okay. Well, I, I completely forgot the um. Each time you, you take damage, you take the same amount part of that spell. <laughs> I'll probably not cast it if I'm honest. Yeah, at the very least, you would have to have a uh, high level of ten HP. And... Yeah, my character's not built for that. I, if I could go back in time, I would make on the less charis, either less charismatic or less intelligent, and I'd bump up his con. Now, if you gave me one. And you gave LJ one, it'd make a lot more sense. Yeah. Wait, what do you mean? Then and then you cast gave... warding bond on us. Yeah, that's not how it works. Oh, okay. Uh, the caster and ha and the target have to have the. Yeah, if you look uh, at the man. at the components, which you and the target must wear. Mm. Yeah, but well, the fun thing is, we can get you an amulet of hell, even though. Probably still be better on me or uh, Beth Mill. How do you have 23 AC? Well, here's my other. Well, no, 23 if if I cast that spell. So, uh, my base is 18 to the plate armor. He has a plus I, two shield. I have a plus no. two shield. I'm sorry, my. I mean, I think my base is 20. Because I have 21. Uh. Yeah, he doesn't have... If he had defensive fighting style, he would default have 23. Mm. And then bring that up to 24. Which I do plan on getting, but we haven't got a level yet. I feel like defensive is good, but at the same time, it's like later levels, once you start getting like magical defenses, and if you're using a shield, it's just not as great. No yeah, way. the only... Good, Only fighter style I might choose is, I believe it's the uh, Inception one. Extra plus Which, one AC is always going to be good. Doesn't matter when or where. Oh yeah. Many people can't even hit me. They have the high, high row and they high. They always hit you. Always. It is good if you're using two-handed weapons because then it's kind of like you have half a shield. The averages, if your AC, well, how, how much is your AC right now at this point? 18. 22. Yeah, the averages are way out of whack for how much you're getting hit. Yeah, my base AC is... For some reason, it's like way not in your favor. I, I have no idea. Like, yeah, you get... like bad luck or bad juju you've you've accumulated. It might be because he, uh, he gets targeted a lot more. Because Luna doesn't even target me any, anymore. Because I have the same AC, and all of his creatures have disadvantage when they do it. Yeah, which would make it even more broken if they had disadvantage trying to attack me with 22 AC. Which means... And then you have me, who just always dies. Yes. <laughs> which is, yeah, that's usually what goes down. Can't hit me, can't hit LJ. That, Go like, for the on the Healing us with his temp HP, channel divinity, go for that one. And Vesemir heals himself. Or, yeah, like, Vesemir heals himself and it, Doodle yeah. is uh, wherever Doodle is. It's getting to a point now where I reckon my main battle strategy is if I ever use my channel of divinity, I'm just casting greater invisibility on myself beforehand. <laughs> not a bad idea. Right, I'm not gonna lie. LG was built for the party as it was when LG was introduced. Which was Otto, Onyx, 
Eldorin on beer. Now his build is still now erratic by the new people joining. But hopefully that can be fixed. It will be fun though. If we ever get to level 17, my channel of divinity is terrifying. <laughs> Did you say what now? <laughs> LJ, what'd you say? I won't hold my breath on that. <laughs> what is your channel of divinity at 17? If I get to on the off off chance that we ever get to level 17, oh, no. um, the yeah. channel of divinity also gives allies within it half cover. Oh. Oh yeah, no, that would be broken. Which is a plus two to AC and saving deck saves. I know the next ability that I get would be good is level 18, when my uh, combat ability dice gets thumbed up. Yeah, I suppose we should actually talk about the game. Yeah. But, yeah. I think what we are, definitely we need to. I think we definitely need to go to the Abra House next. I think that's the plan, yeah. Uh, it doesn't seem like we're probably gonna get the uh picking on our side unless they have assurances that it'll work because well he very much made it clear he doesn't want to really get involved with the houses make enemies of them thing, i think if anything y'all may have made another enemy with with the pit gang by by telling them as much as y'all did well, we've done with Bowie before, and he's still it, on our side. He may, well, it seems like he may work against y'all to get what you're after now. So now y'all are both after the same thing. Yeah, once I, that, I'm getting ready once we start moving closer to the Abra house to cast, um, find a person on Kaiba to see if he's nearby <laughs> to steal Shadow Base. I'm surprised you haven't done it while we're here. Uh, it's a thousand feet, and I know for a fact we're not a thousand feet within a thousand feet of the Steel Shadow Base. Oh my god, I forgot how far we are. Because the map doesn't show that well. Actually, we are within a thousand feet of the Steel Shadow Base. Oh, are we? I can't see the map. It keeps covering itself up for me. Really? Yeah. Well, and are those like superficial because of the map, or is that like actual percentage feet, you know? <clears throat> uh, you're probably more than a thousand feet because yeah. you are underground quite a ways uh, from uh, from the surface. That's true. As uh, you were telling me. Yeah, I so once we start getting close to Avril. minutes. I'm very tired today. Uh, let me go get a Diet Coke. I'll be right back. You do that. Well, yeah, uh, uh, is there anything here we want to do, or are we just going to Avril? I mean, I'm uh, ready to get out of town. Well, you need to get Scarlet first. You keep saying that, but I've heard no reason why. We're her friends. You guys are her friends. Okay, so... You're following us. Here's a suggestion. We leave Doodles behind. Do you think you could survive without me? Yes, we've done before. Yeah? Now cool. That's just mean. I know. That was so fun. But yeah, but, uh, legitimately, I think we're just going to Abra, trying to figure out what the fuck was going on there. Yeah. Potentially dying. <laughs> like, I don't like for Duel's like, like, I don't, like, I know I don't want to tell you, it's like, because anyone that wants anything to do with the ley lines is not good. I mean, you're just incriminating yourself at this point. I think so with Steven, I think with Stevenson we don't mention anything. We just say, "Look, we need." To I don't do even know what these ley lines are. You guys are the ones who are talking. So, just so everyone's clear, 
Envy is going to go into a really detailed explanation about everything we're doing, but just for, for us, what do you two uh, do? Do you two know anything of what we're fucking gonna naturally talk about? No. So, the three girls, the two we have, and the one we're looking for can see the ley lines. The three girls are Ellen, Mirren, and the Scarlet. Oh, the girl. Scarlet. Okay. And Ellen so and Mirren are safe somewhere. We have them with us. They're the two girls that are with us with Davian. Cool. And Davian is a member of a noble family from the Empire called the Fox Arts, who are the people <laughs> who are trying to actually get them. So my question to you, do we uh, get rid of Scarlet or let her fall into enemy hands? She's already in enemy hands. Cool. We're trying to get her out of enemy hands. So while I I have been, but we have no clue where she's town, at, right? She last time. So while I was exploring the town, I had cast a locate person on her on the off chance she was in town, and I located her inside the steel shadow base. So I know she was cool. in town. Um, but yes. Yeah, so, so we know she's here, or at least she was like a day or two ago. As we're going underground, I might do it on her Scarlet first, just to check she's still there. <laughs> Alright, I'm back. What do you all want to do? Uh, I think we're just going to House Hub. Yeah. Alright. Is there any objection to that? Or forever hold your peace. What do you mean? Well, we're married. Sure. Yeah, Doodles is gonna make a fake mustache and put on glasses and a hat. He is now Poodles. Poodles. Alright, so Beth Mill is leading you back through the tunnels to get to the Abra estate. <clears throat> yeah. Yes. Alright, um... So, oh no! As you're getting ready to leave, uh, there is a knock at the door. Yes. Yes. Uh, it's Atala. I wish to speak to uh, Bethmel. <clears throat> is he here? I am. What's uh, what's going on? So you let her in. Uh, yes. Alright, so she says, uh, heard you had some fun, uh, at the brothel last night. Uh, well, um, yes, uh, a little bit. The Doodles and I, we, um, we had a good time. She says, well, good. Surprised you never, uh, come to look for me there. Oh! <laughs> Well, I... Trouble! I, she winks at you and says, uh, I'm just kidding, uh, sort of. But uh, I wanted to ask, sort of. you're, sort of. you're heading to the... Um, are you planning to head to the Abra Estate? Uh, yes, we were just uh, about to head out soon. She says, uh, would you uh, want some company? I feel like you all might be in danger going through those tunnels with, uh, you know, everyone still looking for you. And side check. When you mean company, do you mean you or your uh, organization? Uh, me. I can't really speak for the organization. Our uh, leader is still kind of missing. Hopefully he's okay. I'm fine with it. However... You may have to ask the others. She turns towards the group and says, what of the rest of you? Do you use, yeah, an extra, use an extra sword arm? Do I believe that she just wants to actually help protect us? Uh, give me an active insight check. Oh, fuck. Yeah, that's a wave. Ba, ba, ba. Yeah, can I try one, maybe? Yeah, anyone who wants can. 
Okay. Yeah, oh yeah, I told the boy what. She wants to come to help us. Damn. <laughs> uh, you think she's telling the truth. Okay. Hey, Mary. Welcome in. Hello. So, you may not be happy with... <laughs> Sierra <laughs> may not be happy with Onveer. He spilled the beans. <laughs> and Beth Mill may have stole your girl. What beans were spilled? I'm sorry, I didn't... I, 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 I may have I may have told Kaiba more or less everything except for about Ellen Mirren and Damien. What do you mean told him everything? The way ones. So, how would you tell him about the ley lines and not tell him about Ellen Mirren and Davian? I uh, I told him about Scarlet. The, okay. But, uh, that's why the Steel seven. Shadow had taken her because she could see the ley lines. Gotcha. Uh, and he told him about the surface. Yeah. Yeah, he spilled the beans. Did he charm you or <laughs> exert uh, some sort no. of persuasion? No. No, no, no. I got a free accommodation. I got Doodle and LJ a free brothel. And I got him really, really rattled. So, a lot of things happened. We had that dinner. We had Doodles and Beth Mill go to the brothel. Andre married LJ. And LJ also has a crush on Anvir Google. married LJ? It's been a lot. Gave him the ring <laughs> and everything. Did you at yeah. least use the command or or the ceremony spell so that you guys get the buff for like a week? That's what I, I gave said. Him a ring. I and gave him a ring for warding bond. And then oh, warding bond. Then, okay. Because yeah. <laughs> if you do ceremony, uh, if you have two people join together um, within a marriage ceremony from the spell ceremony, that was my they, get, they get a buff for like a week. Yeah, that's hilarious. That. I love that there's a in this when, game. There's such a thing as a tactical marriage. When they, uh, <laughs> yeah, you know, when you gave him the ring, I had Voli say like, "So you guys are uh, making it official. You getting that uh, <laughs> that buff for a week?" And then what you noticed was apparently Nancy or her new name, um, uh, Atala, uh, Atala uh, who, who was hitting on uh, Beth Mill. So that's a thing. You know what the funny thing well, about the spell Beth is? Beth Mill is knows it... Atala. He's known her for a long time, but more as friends. Yeah. You know what I? You know what I also love about the ceremony spell? It specifically states that you cannot be wedded again unless you are widowed, not right. divorced. Yeah, yeah. Because it doesn't want to be, uh, yeah, abused. It's Catholic Church, baby. <laughs> Question: If somebody <laughs> dies, then come back to life, are you still widowed? Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Probably, I don't know. It's a weird, it's a, it's a weird situation. It is yeah. a little loophole. Well, to be fair, you can use it on a skeleton. What? You can Pickering use so money on a skeleton who is already dead. What do you think the chances are we can persuade the quartermaster that Kyber agreed to give us the fortified clothing because I kind of got him to say he'll give it to us for a stupidly discounted price. Uh, it depends, it depends I don't on think, what Doodle's role. I don't think that um, you can cast ceremony on a skeleton because they're not a creature anymore; they're an object, right? Well, or... Technically, undead are creatures. Well, they oh, okay. un gotcha. like, oh, well, I guess an like, undead like, skeleton. I, I, I meant just like an inanimate skeleton. Sorry. Oh, I, yeah. funeral right? No, not funeral inanimate. right. Like, a corpse is an object, right? Yeah, a corpse yeah. is, well, but an undead technically is a creature. Gotcha. That's wild. Do you want okay, to see so, the doodles can so dissection the Quartermaster? Uh, Big we, dang. Where are Big we? Dang. Are we down in Kyber's den, or are we at yeah, Death Mill's den. Doodles? Yeah, so, so you were going to be charged a bunch of money to stay here, but then Veth Mill uh, spilled the beans for some no, discount. No, I spilled the beans. Oh, sorry, yeah, this I'm is not second time you've done that. I'm not sure. spilled the beans for some free uh, free hotel towels and soaps. Why were they going to charge money for us to be here? I thought we had an agreement with Kyber. Uh, uh, additional days. Like, the first day was free, but, like, because we were sleeping here again. Yeah. And what kind of money are we talking about? It was like 20 uh, gold a day. For the whole party? Each. 120 gold each, uh, for, together. A night. Yeah, it was 20, 20, 20, it was basically a 20 GP upkeep per night. 
Gotcha. Um, but it comes and he said we're food, good for a week and, now. Yeah, it comes with free food and free location. Yeah, I feel like we gave him news that's like pivotal for an entire cycle, and we got a week's worth of lodgings. Not sure how. Uh, oh God, no! We're milking this. That is. Thing we can get. <laughs> See, that was a very fucking raw deal. <laughs> to be fair, I expected there to be more conversation. I didn't expect him to go into pure existential dread and leave the room. And then we had cake after. And then you did get um, that lovely then, cake. Okay, next question. Um, so you guys said you encountered Nancy again, and her name she has a like Nancy's just her uh, her working name apparently, and she's, what's her real name again? She's part of the Pit Gang. Uh, it's uh, her Atala. name. Yeah. Yes. At Atala is that what you said? Yeah. Yeah. And apparently, yeah, she is a vampire who is a member of the Pit Gang. We knew and she that seems she to was... have a thing for Beth Mill. We knew that she was a member of the Pit Gang um, from the start. She was hanging out in in the tavern. We knew she was working were... in the brothel for the Pit Gang, but she is also just like a full on well, like. No, no, no. When we first when we first met her, she wasn't at the brothel. She was off duty at the inn where we were staying at, hanging out in the common room where there were some card games going on that Magnus joined and she was uh, like kind of hanging out with the, the, the pit gang people that were playing the cards. Yeah. Of yeah. course Mary would remember this. <laughs> with the amount of uh, journals you do. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, we, we were just about to head to Lord Abra's estate uh, with Atala, if everyone agreed to that. No, a little objection. We were doing the insight check, so I don't think we actually got the results, did we? Because Miri joined and then we got distracted. Yeah, uh, yeah so no one, uh, no one would think that she is uh, up to anything nefarious. I rolled a nat, uh, well, I rolled a 20, so that's, that's pretty good. Or she's a really good liar. Uh, we know she's a very good liar. Because um, Nasira did a, in, a nat 20 insight check on her back one of the meetings we had previously and determined that she was excellently trained at deception. Well, you can make a check too if you want, uh, Nasira. What's the check? Insight. It was to see if she was being honest about wanting to help us. Like, just like, help protect us. Yeah, she has okay. to go to House Abra with you all, basically. Not nearly as good as my last insight on her. Alright, so yeah, you, uh, seems like she's telling the truth. Pretty legit. Alright, so we're allowing her to accompany? Yep. Yep. Alright. So... Led by Vethmill, group journeys back into the caves under the city. A trip uh, that you have made many a time. So I guess while we're walking, I'm going to talk to uh, Atala about the vampires that have kind of attacked us. And see if she knows anything about it. Just like a long time. <clears throat> uh, hey. All right, so you walk up to her, and what do you say? I, uh, I say, uh, 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 we've been attacked quite a few times uh, from some vampires I've never seen before. Uh, do you perhaps know anything about them? She I have this well. one before, and I kind of show it to her and show her and stuff. What are you showing her? Uh, the rapier I got from like one of those head vampires. She looks at it. She says, "Nice." Um, well, I mean, you know that uh, House Abra can always keep it in, in their pants when it comes to making spawn. That's why we have the hunters around the city. Uh, I'm, I don't know. I assume it might just be uh, some group of uh, renegade spawn who are attacking you. Maybe. Uh, we might learn more when we get to the Abra estate. She says, yeah, maybe uh, Daddy Abra can 
can give you some more information. <laughs> you could sense that she is not a fan of uh, Stravaro. So she would she would also know that I'm not either. Yeah. Particularly. Okay. Well, yeah, and you kind of sug oh yeah, and that's another thing that happened. Uh, Vethmil hinted that if you guys killed uh, Stravaro, that he uh, would be free. Very subtly hinted. Yeah. He tried with your brain to edit us. Well, you weren't getting it at all. <laughs> don't you like want to like if 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 the okay I I don't know I guess the theater wouldn't know what I was gonna ask so never mind I'm curious but but I'll ask after the session. <laughs> all right. Uh. So. Well, he did. Okay, so. He did talk about the Feywild, so if you're gonna bring that bring that up, you, you could you could say something about that. The Feywild? Oh, Nasira yeah. knows nothing about the Feywild. Oh yeah, so there's another thing that happened. We found out Vethmil is a thousand from the Feywild. Oh, because you, were you there for like like a period of time where the time passed differently? Time is the same, apparently. Time is the so, same in the Shadowfield and... Yeah, uh, in the Gaian, Feywild. the uh, the time isn't uh, strange in the Feywild and the Shadowfell. Oh, okay. But still, Pass he's immortal. Or, 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 like, vampires can be immortal, you know, right? So that's not yeah. necessarily surprising. Yeah. So he was... He was yeah, no, he was uh, 500 when he was turned around, give or take some. And he's and... an elf, right? Yeah, he's in a, a, a winter Eladrin, so. Gotcha. Uh, yeah, so now he's about a thousand. He's been so he's been a vampire spawn for about five hundred years, give or take. Like I said. All right. So as you are traveling through the tunnels, uh, Unveer, you think you hear uh, footsteps up ahead. I like a lot, everybody. Yeah. Tala says, uh, no one should be down here. Maybe I should check it out. You guys maybe, uh, wait here. Uh, I'll go <laughs> with I, I, I just want to point out, I can see 300 feet away. She says, are you guys stealthy? I'm decently. No. I'm not in the way. She says, anyone who's what? not stealthy no. is staying here. The whole point of me checking it out is to not be seen. I'm very stealthy. And I can hold my hands up as being almost a eight foot tall vampire. I'm pretty sure just, I'm stealthier than you. Just, just I'm wait here. I'll be. Uh, just stealthy. wait here. I'll be right back. Maybe, uh, <laughs> maybe, uh, Nasira, you come with me. Excellent. Uh, I'll follow. Alright, give me a this. stealth check. Now that she's, like, showing, like, confidence in me, I'm probably gonna, like, crit fail here. I was gonna say, watch it. Yeah. <laughs> Let's see this. Let's see this. Ha <laughs> ha! Oi! <laughs> Huzzah! Not that it's stellar, but at least it's not shit. <laughs> Just curious. Yeah, it's not a one. Oh, look. I am stealthy. There you go. <laughs> Surprisingly, me and Veth Miller equally as stealthy. <laughs> what? What's your next? I will um, follow her lead since I don't know these. I don't know these tunnels as well as her. So Nasira is ab absolutely following her lead and and her instructions. All right. So uh, you uh, walk up ahead with her ways as she's kind of crouched over, uh, moving through the darkness. Uh, she comes to a corner, kind of looks around, uh, looks at you and puts up five fingers and would whisper, uh, well, actually, she wouldn't whisper, she'll just put up five fingers. Um, I will nod, assuming that she is saying that there are five creatures, or... Uh, or... and you do hear voices now with your passive perception. Uh, it okay. sounds like some... Uh, do you speak Elven? Great question. Let me check. I do not. All right. So you definitely hear conversing, but it is not in the language you understand. I will remain stealth and um, listen, uh, observe, and uh, 
watch her for signals or instructions. So she just kind of motions to head back to the group. I follow. Yeah, she would say, uh, it looks like five guards, uh, probably Stevison. Look, they looked elven to me. Um, we can probably avoid them. Uh, or maybe the group wishes to uh, strike against the Stevison's people. What, and uh, ambush them? She uh, basically would tell you all this when she gets back. What are the chances that there are more close by to aid them if we were to attempt a... Uh, probably pretty good, she says. The uh, I'm assuming they have people still watching these tunnels since you all escaped into them. I think it's better to try and avoid. Yeah, so how do you propose we avoid them? Will it require stealth from all party members? She says, generally, but I might have an easier way. Uh, she says, uh, I could be a distraction. Um, I'm familiar with the Stevison's people, and uh, they wouldn't know I'm with you. She says, I could lead will... them away, which would give you all time to pass unnoticed. And you will rejoin us later, I suppose? She nods and says, that's the plan. Um, uh, inside check. But uh, I don't think I'll have a way to get into the estate, so I'd probably just see you when you got back to base. Because uh, I'll just say that the Abra don't exactly uh, like me. Still, I came to help you all, so this would be helping you. Hi. Understood. Do you expect there is any possibility for danger to you? She says no. I, well, I don't think so. They don't know that I'm, uh, you know, that where our people are aiding your people. So they have no reason to connect me. Uh, they, they know of my profession. Do you have your invisibility prepared? I'm, I don't think I'm there. No, oh, you're there. She's oh. back with the group. Oh, she, sorry. I thought you were... Yeah, like, she came yeah, back I do. and told you what she saw. We came back saw. before we started discussing it aloud, yeah. Uh, uh, like, yes, I do have invisibility prepared today. We could uh, sneak past there. Or we could, that, that could help us. Um, between me and you, I think we could cover everybody. She says, uh, if you wish to do it that way, that's fine, too. You mentioned that the... Av... Av... Sorry, remind me. What's the Avra? Is it Avra? Abra. Abra. You mentioned that the Abra do not, um, like you. Uh, does this mean that you were not planning to enter with us anyway? Well, I assume that uh, if I went in with the rest of you, they would allow me to. But going in by myself, I don't think they would let me. I suppose it shows at least a card in our hand if we give them the information that you are working with us. So that coupled with the fact that you do not particularly like them, I, I guess... Well, Perhaps I, you staying behind makes sense. She says, I think Lord Stravaro knows that you all are working with the, uh, the pit gang, doesn't he? He should, but who knows? She basically looks right at Bethmel. Well, yeah, I was gonna say, yeah, only if he's reported it back, the yeah. The problem is, Lord Stravaro kind of wanted me to kill everyone. Uh, I tried. In the pit king? Yes. Hmm. You tried. <laughs> well, uh, maybe it's better I don't come with you, she says, now feeling a little bit more concerned. Did you yes. did you tell Kyber this? Uh no. And I may be punished when I get back. Ooh. Um Perhaps perhaps oh sorry, go ahead. She says, well, then, yeah, definitely, uh, I think I should not be with you. I didn't realize, uh, Abra would make, was going to make such a power move. Yeah, I don't think we knew this either, to be honest. <laughs> Perhaps we should utilize both plans. Uh, 
Sorry, uh, remind me what her name is again. Atara. Atala. Atala. I get, um, uh, Atala can be ready to distract the guards while we stealth past. Uh, I don't. It sounds like it is not in anyone's best interest for her to join us for uh, this she, audience. She nods and says, especially if. Uh... That was the uh, the intention to take out the the pit gang. Uh, so I say, um, well, you know, Lord Happer likes to wield me like I'm a big stick. It was more of a if you could type of thing. Hmm. Well, I uh, a bit surprised, but uh, all right. In any case, uh, yeah, I'll uh, I'll go try to lead the guards away, and you all stealth past. If you give hey, me a few minutes, I could probably get them all out of there. And you keep guys... this. I mean, keep this between you and me. She says, "Oh yeah, you guys, told, you guys said that that she was digging on Vethmil, and then he's like, "Oh yeah, by the way, I was supposed to kill all your people." Yeah. Well, she we'll knows like Vethmil. They're friends. Okay. Um. Yeah, I think, uh, did you tell the group about her? Like, what you know about her, Beth Mel? No, no, I, I, I can't try to keep stuff, some stuff to myself. Alright. So, yeah, a lot of stuff. <laughs> they seem like they know each other. Um, alright, so, uh, would, um, Nasira would, uh, thank, uh, thank you for your assistance. Uh, yeah. when, if we're parting ways with Scar, oh, not Scarlet, uh, Atala. Uh, Atala. <laughs> so the only thing no I problem. did say was two doodles, by the way. Uh, I just said that me and her had been on some hunts. So that was that was it. Hunts. Oh. Why are you trying that's a on loaded, the screen? That's a loaded word when you're talking about vampires. <laughs> oh, I, I, sorry. I forgot you can see that even when I hit hide from other stuff. Yeah, <laughs> I can always see it. Uh, <laughs> I was just bored and just doing it. <laughs> All right. Well, uh, so she is gonna head up ahead, uh, and you would hear her talking to the guards in the distance, um, and uh, there's like kind of some laughing and maybe some flirting, and you uh, you think they may have moved off. What do you want to do? Let's go. What's the goal? Nice. Go. Forward. Alright, so you get to the underneath of the Abra estate. Uh, a familiar figure is there as uh, uh, Bakarab would greet you, Vethmil. He says, uh, welcome back. Uh, yes. I see you, uh, you brought friends. Well, I figured it was about time. He says, uh, the situation is still complicated, though, so, uh, let me go see if, uh, this, if, uh, Lord Stravaro is willing to speak now. I kind of just, I roll my eyes and I kind of push, push Baccarat aside. <sighs> Enough of this, Baccarat. And I, I start to just walk in. He says, Vethville, let me go speak to him first. Are you just going <sighs> to keep going? I'm tired of playing these games. First. <clears throat> uh, yeah, he just continues to, to go by. Who's talking to Vethmil and saying that he should speak first? Uh, there was a... There's a guy down underneath, um... That, oh, like uh, a sentry? Yeah, kind of uh, like as, a sentry. As I walk by, I say, I had a mission to fulfill. I am here to do so. Alright, so as you get up the stairs, there are two uh, heavily armored guards who basically pull out their uh, their um, pikes and like point them at you. And Backrab would say, Just "Let him pass," and uh, they kind of look at each other and nod, letting him. Uh, and is the group going with him? I think once he says "let him pass," we we when, just kind of like nervously. When, yeah, go, go ahead. Sorry, I'm here. Yeah, I was just saying. I I feel like Omria kind of like starts nervously scooting forward after he says, "Let him through." Like, I, 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 we allowed through. Yeah. So Backrab um, just says, "Yeah, fine. Come on." 
Uh, yeah, Nasira would try and look totally like cool, cool as a cucumber. Like she, she, <laughs> she, 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 sees, she sees Vethmel advancing, and she just like sweeps that way with a very noble gait, like she's you know used to being obeyed or something like that. That's that's the con continent she puts out. I am like clutching my holy symbol. <laughs> Uh, all right. So you get up to the I'm main. Just picturing Andre like clutching his necklace. <laughs> you get up to the main hall. Uh, basically, kind of come up the stairwell uh, into the entryway. Uh, there are several uh, humans here who are just kind of talking. It looks like there might be some kind of party going on. Uh, Vethmil, you're just like, you're just going through, right? You're not stopping or anything. Uh, he's, he's pissed. He's already know he's going to be punished. He's just trying to get this over with. He had a task and he's trying to fulfill his task. Can I, can I like just hold out a hand to Vethmil? Not like, not like I'm impede, I'm going to actually stop you because I don't want to like ruffle your feathers or, or, um, I I insinuate that I'm going to stop you from your aim, but just for a, like a pause kind of gesture. Um, and I will say like, um, uh, if there are, if there are, if there are guests here for a gathering or a party, then perhaps we should bide our time uh, since your master has already uh, been careful in how we uh how we come to him uh we could uh lose a, a potential ally before you're, even talking to him are you doing this like right before we enter the party hall well i like, think as we're kind of as we're kind of coming through the like when it looks like you're just going to charge right for your master through okay. the crowd like okay. if he's not guests that's what nasira is kind of thinking like wait 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 okay we didn't know that there was going to be a bunch of guests and this guy has already been cautious so let's not like piss him off before we have a chance to have an ally. So, uh, Anvir, I assume you're following up into the uh, the hall as well, right? Yes. So you would notice very nervously. Uh, you would notice about the same time he notices you, the assassin you fought from Stevison House, the one that got away, uh, is in the <laughs> hall. Uh, you both kind of meet each other's gaze, and he uh, quickly puts up his hood and walks out of the room. He's basically kind of on the other side of the room. Oh, he just I got seen. But... No, never mind. <laughs> I, 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 I just walk up and I just go. It was the guy Play. that uh, the guy that Edwin or Eldwin like fought to a standstill, basically when he was the last one left. Uh, so you, um, okay, so you said that to. Uh, Beth Mill, he, he doesn't, yeah. Being the one that Eldwin could have killed, and we were merciful. Oh, well, you didn't see that, um, uh, right, 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 right. Okay. Only, right, only so Anvir then, yeah. saw that. Okay. It was, like, basically, oh, like, across the hall, he was, like, talking to someone, then he went, oh, and then he just, like, walked away when he saw Anvir. So, Lou, I'm looking at the party. Only my Elven eyes saw it. How big is this party? Like, could we possibly maybe potentially move through it without, you know, being noticed? Uh, it looks like uh, one of Lord Stravaro's uh, gatherings. There's a bunch of... Um, a bunch of humans here. You know some of the people are like some of the wealthy traders in town. Uh, you would notice... Uh, I'll say Eldwin. You would notice that mysterious woman... Who had all those uh, magical item signatures coming off her is here as well. Oh. Um, she's uh, she's definitely dressed all fancy and looks like she's hobnobbing with some people. Uh, who else would you see? I um, um, yeah. I guess I guess I'd say to everyone. Uh, I guess right before we go into the hall, I say, uh, "Wait here. I'll be right back." I think it's too late for that. Why? I, I just saw the Stevens and Assess, and he just saw us, and he just left. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Well, uh, I, I guess a subterfuge is less necessary. 
That's uh, what you want to do. <clears throat> uh, I look at, I guess, doodles. I say, uh, I can. Is there like a door in front of us, or is it like those big giant doors? What, uh, what it, kind? It's it's like a smaller five foot door. It's basically like okay. a side area that goes I, to the stairs down to the basement. That's, that's what I was. That's what I was figuring. I um I close that door. And I say to Doodles, and I think it was Eldwin? Uh, perhaps, maybe, invisibility? I think it's too late for that. Yeah, I mean, we, we opened the door, and people saw us. The assassin... Noodles uh, is gonna... <laughs> well, no, he was... Uh, so, it's just me... You don't, uh, well, you don't think most of the party guests noticed you over here. Uh, you definitely <laughs> think that uh, Assassin noticed you. you and, but uh, this is just me, Beth Mill, and Eldwin behind the door? Well, considering be how... Can, I, oh, I okay, we, cool. I didn't... I didn't if, uh, if Beth Mill, how many we, people do we need? Yeah, if we split up, I missed that. I thought we were all together. No, you're oh. all together. Um... <clears throat> Considering how rumors have spread cool. very quickly already in this town, I think that the fact that the assassin has uh, noticed us is... There is no stopping the knowledge from friend or foe that we have been here this day. Of course, they do not know specifically our purpose for being here, but they will make their own conjectures regardless. Whether they think we are allied, or we are coming in hopes of alliance, or we are coming to assassinate, you know, they will make assumptions. But I think there is no stopping the knowledge that we have been here at this point. Is there any side hallways, Lou, uh, maybe that we could go down to get to? Uh... Uh, so from here, you would have to go through the main hall. Uh -huh. uh, but okay. once you go through the main hall for a bit, there is uh, there are some side passages you can take to get upstairs to, to Stravaro's uh, office. This hallway that we're in... You don't in, have to go up we... the main stairwell to get to it, basically. Okay. This hallway that we're in, you said like it's like a, more like a servant's, a servant's service? Yeah, entrance. almost. Well, it's, like, um, it's basically like a side passage that goes down to the basement, which is connected to the tunnels. Are there any um, supplies or uniforms or anything like stowed here that the wait st or the, the servants might have like might use this as a? So there were some downstairs. You did pass by some uh, servants' quarters. Oh, okay. Well, in that case, <laughs> perhaps Wanna go we steal can... the servants' clothes. Let's. Let us be servants. <laughs> Just grab a, a uniform, a tray, and some glasses of champagne, and we are good. <laughs> you realize Spy how possible it could be for some of us, namely me? AJ the maid. You're, You're right. It is me the only guy that people. can easy, easily I'm flip sorry, between LJ them. the maid. It, 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 you're, you're correct. It is me that is battle-ready, even in my... my finest attire so disregard nasira will flip back down the passageway and acquire a servant's uniform and a, a, a tray <laughs> all right uh well there's right. no tray but you could definitely get a servant's uniform <clears throat> uh <clears throat> beth mill says uh you look good in a maid outfit <laughs> oh, <go>. geez. Geez. <laughs> do i am i seeing nasira that's great and uh beth mill fucking Hooking up now? No. Oh my god. No, you're seeing him say one thing while she's putting on like a, an apron. Like that was like. Let's not read into it. Yeah, he was making a joke. <laughs> and I'm making. Just but no, seriously, compliment. like Nasira. God, it's like... Davian with the sister thing all over again. <laughs> oh god. Yeah. Yeah, and so and so she probably takes off her hood and veil and puts the servant livery over top like usually it's like a tabard livery type of thing right so pretty easy to just like put over your shoulders and like belt right? yeah you have uh common clothes on right well fine clothes but <laughs> uh, maybe a fancy servant <laughs> well the clothes under my tabard my servant's tabard tabard just happened to be really finely made but so, they're not yeah uh basically as you're standing there um Bacharab would come up the stairs and uh, 
the guy who Vethmil stormed past and be like, what are you guys just standing here for? Okay. What's so? Uh, uh -huh. mentioned there was a party, Baccarat. Well, I didn't expect you to go storming past me, Vethmil. You also <sighs> didn't mention there was one of the Stephenson agents, like, right out there who saw us. <laughs> who? There, there was, like, a Stephenson assassin spy guy in there. Does anyone he have says, the uh, magic to make the illusion of the face? Andre, of the you're talking you're 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 talking wild again. Um, Does anyone but I would absolutely make a statue of <laughs> the dude we saw. But I, I would absolutely also say, Andre, you're talking wild again. Alright, so you show him the uh the basically the guy who is of uh who you know from the Stevison estate. Is yeah. that what you're doing? Uh, he yeah. would say, uh, oh, that's, uh, that's Frivik. Yeah, he's one of our spies. Don't worry. He, uh, it's fine if he's Oh, him. okay. He, he looked, like, <laughs> really nervous when he saw us and, like, left the room. I, I just well, immediately yeah, assumed, oh, God. knew that you might blow his cover. But, uh, yeah, well, no, he's one of like our you just. Okay, okay. <laughs> I'm glad we spoke to you, and I'm glad I announced that now. Yeah. Uh. So... Have you heard? That, have you? Are you familiar with the term double agent? <laughs> he says I am. Onvir immediately start looks, starts looking nervous again, just like oh no. This All is... right, so Nasira in her maid's uniform is just going to sweep into the party, <laughs> find the nearest servant, relieve them of their tray, and tell them it's their break. <laughs> uh, give me a uh, persuasion or deception. That's great. <laughs> persuasion? Question mark. I, sh I shouldn't do this. I'm not actually. I'm good, but not stellar at this. Just gonna no, mug this someone perfect. for their tray. This is. Good I just. You, you said persuasion break. or what? Or deception or intimidation. <laughs> actually, any of the three. <laughs> what did you say the god's name was? Uh, I'll say DC ten. Okay, Back. that doesn't sound so bad. Unless the Back dice beat me. The what? Oh, the yeah, Bakarab is the uh, nice. the guy who Bacarab. you're talking to. Uh, is so, there anybody in there that shouldn't see us? Oh, says, well, that's why I was trying to go tell the master you were here. Uh, I don't know if he wants you guys to be seen here. To, I mean, I don't know how many people saw you already. Uh, I think mainly just him. <laughs> All right. Um. Who knows who we are, anyway? He says, uh, you know what? Let's just quickly get you up there. Um, it might be too late now. We can take one of the side passages. We only have to go through, uh, and about this time, Nasira comes back in with her uh, tray and stuff. Oh, I do? Okay. <laughs> I don't know. Well, well, what were you doing once you got the tray? Oh, she was gonna like meander among the guests and like collect empty glasses <laughs> and like listen. Sarah's just going to work. He just yeah, <laughs> he's going full undercover. Well, she like I'm okay. She was she was she was raised in among people of like high refinement and learning and uh, art and wine, expensive tastes and stuff. So like so I feel like she could, you know, just just she's. She's a servant. Most of these people are going to completely ignore her, even if there was something obvious about her. Right. Most of the people here aren't going to notice it. <laughs> She's right, going to well, try to learn. <laughs> so, uh, all right. So you're you're out there in back. I like, what is she doing? <laughs> Don't worry. She got this. Whatever oh, she's goodness. doing. Okay. I trust her. Beth Mill, uh, this is why we can't have nice things. I swear to God. <laughs> well, I mean, we, it seemed like we were going to barge in, so Nasira thought she at least had a plan right. besides you know what? being herself. I changed my mind. The rest of you downstairs. Let me go tell Lord Shirari you're here before I march you through the, the guests. I just I just look at him and I'm like, I'm so sorry. It's like, yeah, yeah. He, um, before you also, off, you tell your... This... Or, yeah, what? And do, you, do you know who this mysterious woman is? And I would make a little minor illusion of the mysterious woman with lots of magic items. Uh, oh, yes, uh, one of our guests. That is... Uh, her name is uh, Sela <clears throat> Vitae. She Sela is a... Uh, 
She's a, a friend of Lord Stravaro. I don't really know how. She's, uh, yeah, she's someone of note within the city. I don't know much about her, but she's pretty rich. Cool. A, yeah, Great, a, awesome. Acela Vitae is her name. Cool. Right. Thank right. you. I once again uh, bully Bakarov, and I, uh, I say, I will go let the master know myself. Oh my and then God. I turn, uh, I do compelled. He uh, gives no, a, do, a mock, uh, or go ahead, what are you doing? I do disguise self, and I, I turn myself into a servant. He gives a mock gesture for, like, go ahead. Also, tell your while you're out there, tell your friends to stop serving champagne to our guests. I will. As I walk by, kind of like... I mean, why? Like, yes. I mean, she, she has no armor. She's not <clears throat> conspicuous like the rest of you. <laughs> she likes some I just cigarettes, keep champagne. Snake person. Mm -hmm. uh, she I just is, keep... She is the probably the only... Uh, na or not Naga, what are they called? Yonti. Yonti out there. You're, okay, you're right. You're, she would be noticeable and memorable, I guess, in that respect. So. Uh, I I just, I'm just there saying sorry to Bakarab, so, like, repetitively. Like, I'm so sorry. He just throws I'm his hands so up. Sorry. He says, well, I'm, I guess Vethmil's going, so, uh, and he just goes back downstairs, cursing. Can Nasina uh, adopt a, um, like, a demeanor where she's kind of, like, bowing her head and like like not talking like not making eye contact with the people she serves because most of the people at this party are going to ignore a servant i imagine um yes the, some uh, important people are yeah servant, but... doesn't seem like the people are paying much note to you as you serve them even if um, i am a little bit exotic yeah yeah you're you're not really getting noticed much um all right so you use disguise self and you are going up to your master's office is that right yeah uh, so uh Beth Mill, do you mind if I join you as your uh, gnomish friend, uh, Professor Chomsky? Also, let me just point out that um, if she's like kind of casting her eyes down and <clears throat> acting more subservient, she looks human. Her 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 eyes and her tongue are the only thing that give her away. Yeah, I so far no one has noticed you. I'll just say okay. that. Uh, all uh, right, so are you bringing uh, Professor Chomsky with you? Uh, I guess it wouldn't be Professor Chomsky. That would be a bad idea. I, I, I would just be a random gnome. <laughs> Doodle Pox. Doodle, Doodle <laughs> Pox. Professor Chomsky said, suddenly I, appears. <laughs> Doodles. I say, uh, Doodles the gnome. I think, uh, sadly, no, Doodles. Uh, it probably wouldn't go well. This may not go well uh, for me to begin with. And I, I uh, go ahead and start walking, walking through, and uh, <clears throat> find Nasira. And I, I say to Nasira, "You may want to go ahead and head back." Uh, I, I kind of whisper to her as I keep going. I'm gonna give uh, old Beth Mel a bardic inspiration before he leaves. Oh, cool. cool. All right, you give him a pat on the back. Uh, so you head up to the office uh, where. Lord Stravaro is. So he will... Like, you, you be, I assume you're just walking in. Uh, <clears throat> I... Uh, I knock on the door and kind of like... A, <laughs> I say, My lord! My lord! Uh, he... would say... Uh, who is it? Busy. <laughs> He's uh, not even at his own party. <laughs> it's someone very special to you, my lord. Oh. Again, who is it? I open the door. And I I I come in as a servant, and then I I drop my form, and I I bow to him. This is ah, the best mill. Yes. He says, I have brought. The group you asked for. He says, and the pit gang. Were you able to take care of them? I killed quite a few. He says, kill them all. Let's see. Uh, well, you say you brought the Grey Wanderers here, though? Yes, but. Don't worry, no one has seen them. Nice. <laughs> give me a, give me a uh, deception check. 
<laughs> okay. Uh, deception. Oh. <laughs> this is really. Uh, maybe a few. People. Where are where are they? He says, seeming uh, get like he's getting impatient. Uh, they're in the hallway, uh, towards the lower entrance. I can bring them for you. No, I don't need them traipsing across my party. I'll just come down to the basement. Um, I'll be down in a moment. Uh, go and gather them down there and wait for me. Be uh, off. Yes. And he just kind of waves his hand and goes back to what he's looking at. I bow and leave the room, and, and then the smile immediately drops to, like, a fuck you kind of look, <laughs> like, <sighs> as, I, as I leave. All right. So, uh, yeah, Vethmil kind of comes back down, uh, and, uh, Nasira, did you go back in, or are you still serving drinks? My, my plan was to just listen and walk around, uh, not necessarily expecting that, that would, anything would come of that, but that was my plan, because it didn't seem like any, like, it didn't seem like there was any other plan now that we, like, encountered this party. Okay. Uh, so you're kind of keeping an ear out, uh, listening in. As Doodles a, is making tea, apparently. Doodles is making yeah. tea in the basement. Uh, <laughs> most of what you're hearing is just kind of a talk between, like, merchants of goings-on in the city. Uh, there's definitely talk of the attack on, uh, Lady Stevison. Um, it seems like, uh, from what you're hearing that yeah, people think it was some kind of assassination attempt by her brother. Uh, but uh, as you are doing this, uh, you feel a hand on your shoulder. And uh, as you uh, kind of turn around, you would see a very tall, very like regal looking uh, gentleman. He says, I would uh, speak with you in the basement, please. You don't recognize him. Since I'm posing as a servant, I would keep my eyes cast down and say, of course. Should I pass my tray off to another servant? Well, she, like, she'll ask, she'll, like, act, like, kind of like, like a servant who's not sure what job she's supposed uh, to do. He just takes the tray and hands it off to another lady. He says, here, okay. she'll take it. <laughs> All right. Um, yeah. yeah. I'm not going to make a fuss in this party, so yeah. All right. So uh, a little while later... Um, while you all are kind of waiting in the basement with, uh, what's his name, with uh, Bakarab, uh, you see Lord Stravaro come down the stairs with uh, Nasira, and he would smile at you all and say, uh, uh, Grey Wanderers. Oh, well, so... that was Stravaro that came and got me? Yeah. Oh. Apparently he recognized <laughs> you in the walking around his hall serving drinks. Uh, but he would say, I, uh, oh, I, "I will fling us like as he's that when we get down here and he starts talking. Like while he's talking, I'm like taking off the mage uniform. Like I had it on over my like habit. It was like, <laughs> I'm assuming it was like a livery or something. But like yeah, yeah. She, I'm taking it off and throwing it on the floor. All right. <laughs> so yeah, he would say, uh, "It's good to finally meet you all. I've uh, heard quite a bit about you and done some of my own research since you came to uh, to." Uh, Shoot, what's the name of the city? Uh, to Revan's Revan Pass. Pass. Oh. Um, I apologize if uh, Vethmil gave you a fright. He is a bit uh, odd looking. It was very intimidating to watch a 16 foot vampire suck a man to death. 16 foot? What? He laughs. He Almost. says, uh, Vethmil certainly uh, can be intimidating. But uh, I assure he you, can, like, double his size. I assure you, and he what? is no danger to you as long as uh, you have friends within my household, which I hope we can be friends. Um, I'm just curious to know more about why you're here. Oh man, he says, uh, I very much I mean... doubt the uh, the <clears throat> the uh, story that. Lady Stevison gave of you just attacking her out of the blue. It does not seem like Why something... Why we're here, excuse me, but ever since we encountered your agent, the Sveth Mill, we were informed that you wish to speak with us. And now that we have finally made our way to your presence, you ask why we're here? In the city. 
why you were within the city. <laughs> yeah, um, I was just working at the bar and met these cool people and thought it'd be fun. And also kind of wanted to get out and see the world. We like to hire talent when we discover it. And she says, uh, I'm sorry, uh, I thought you were with them. Um, I, I guess I, I I don't recognize you, he says to you, Doodles. Are you a native to the city? Uh, I, I've been here for a little bit, but uh, yeah, I, I work over at uh, Finnegan's Plant. Used to, at least. Uh, mm. These folks needed a cook. I see. Uh, give me a, give me a insight check. Doodles. Oh. All right. Oh no. <laughs> so he just smiles at you and nods and says, "Well." Um, he looks benevolent and understanding. <laughs> uh, so uh, Doodles is a uh, gnome right now as well. Oh, well, then he definitely is not in Doodles form. Yeah. He's Doodle Pops. He's Poodles. Poodles and gnome. yeah. <laughs> So, uh, yes, uh, sorry if I, I was not clear. I, I wish to know what you were doing in Revan's Pass. Um, I know a little bit about your group from your uh, exploits in Candle, um, but, uh, yeah, I, I don't know uh, what you're looking for here. We followed the trail of a friend who was brought here against their will. Oh. Uh, someone was kidnapped. Would I know this person? Affirmative. No, I do not believe so. But of course I cannot know for certain that you've never encountered them. But Well, I, uh, he suddenly stops. He looks, uh, at, uh, at Eldwin. He says, you look very familiar. Uh, would I know your father? Like, like, uh, yeah, he's like okay. just staring right at you as if he's trying to place you. You're in shock. Like, I, yeah, it's like, I don't know. I've, uh, my father's never, uh, spoken to me about you. He says, your blade seems very familiar as well. And he kind of motions to your fancy sword. Like, how do you know my, um, about my blade? He says, I... I want to say that I saw someone wielding a blade like that long ago. Where? Are you yelling at him? Uh, yeah, he'll suddenly just burst out. If you, if you say that, uh, Vethmel would say, Do not speak loudly. Oh, no, it, it's all right, on. Vethmel. He kind of smiles and he says, Since uh, quite a while ago, um, I had a mercenary come through the, the city and uh, I employed him for a bit. Uh, I wielded the blade much like that one. Can't say what happened to him afterwards, though. I'm sorry, I, I don't have uh, a good answer for you. People come and go through Revan's Pass all the time. Though, uh, I could possibly look into it. I take it you know this person. Not personally, but... I would be very invested in meeting him. Excellent. Well, perhaps we have uh, more of a reason to help each other. Um... So, uh, why don't you tell me what actually happened with uh, Lady Stevesend and more about this person who was kidnapped? And I'm, if you want, you can roleplay it, but otherwise you can just say you tell him the story of, uh, yeah, you getting poisoned and everything. Yeah, I think we just reveal, like... Uh, and you would... Me. And actually, uh... With your passive insight of 18, Anvir, you think he... All, and actually, Nasira, too. You think he already knows. Because, like about ley lines and shit? Well, no, that he knows about what happened with Lady Stevison. Oh, uh, okay. All right. He's if, got the double A. Yeah, if Frivik is actually working for him, then he probably told him. So he might just be testing you. Do I remember? We've been telling people all along the other side of the story, and like, 
there's so much like there's so many people in this town that are reporting to other people like <laughs> do i remember if Ribic was in the room when we were revealing everything about scarlet uh about scarlet do you mean at the lunch with lady stevenson yeah so when you say everything about Scarlet, yes, he so was there. We we, we revealed okay. she was friend and she was kidnapped, and we want her back, and that the that we know that the steel shadow. I thought yeah. I thought we you mentioned know, Ley Lines. Lines. No, no, no. Yeah. at no, the lunch with Lady Stevenson, we said nothing about Ley Lines. Yeah, I don't well, think you mentioned the. Uh, like, okay, so. Oh. Or wait, sorry, uh, I'm, I'm Doodles. Get, what did you say? We, uh, I didn't Andre just tell them all about ley lines and how so and so. No, 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 that's Kyber. Kyber. We're talking oh, about yeah, how yeah, that's Kyber. Yeah, He's no, I don't know nothing. He was talking about the encounter with like Lady Stevenson, and I don't time. think you cool. told her about that. I think you just told her that you wanted to get your friend back. Yeah, okay. we told yeah. her that we yeah. were in town because our friend was kidnapped by the Steel Shadow, and we wanted to rescue her. Okay, so I, I reveal everything that was shared to Lady Stevenson. Alright, so you kind of tell him about the encounter. Uh, he kind of nods as he listens and says, uh, Well, that uh, seems a bit impetuous of her to ask you to kill her brother than just expect you to do it right away. Hmm. Interesting. So obviously that didn't go well, and now the Good, a good portion of the city thinks that you all are assassins that uh, her brother sent to kill her. Yes, it has taught me to regret leaving people alive. And he smiles. Because if, uh, if you because if you remember, like that entire combat, we like left everyone alive. We did non-lethal for everyone in the Stevenson estate. <laughs> he nods. He says, "It is often uh, uh, better to just not have witnesses." But what of her brother? Is her brother still alive? Yeah. What did you say? Yeah. You say yeah? He says, yeah, I'll uh, say yes. He's still alive. Interesting. Uh, and uh, this friend of yours was kidnapped by the Steel Shadow, which is why you initially came here and you wished to free them. Yes. I know of the Steel Shadow holding someone. I don't know of the details of why. Perhaps you could uh, inform me. Why do they want this girl? For us, that is not relevant. She is our friend, and we are committed to protecting her. And she was stolen from our estate, and a, another dear member of our group was slain in the kidnapping. And for this only, we require uh, recompense uh, and without they're dead. any other they're assholes. yeah go ahead sorry I can't hear you doodles say that again they're assholes <laughs> they got nothing better to do they want to make some money obviously it's a it's a it's a ransom plot yes this is very likely I'll just jump on that train <laughs> uh so he hmm. uh doodles give me a deception cool. because i assume you're trying to hide the uh the fact no. that she can read ley lines right 16. yeah uh so he looks at you for a moment, as if thinking of something. Uh, his eyes flash. Um, no one no. else notices this, but uh, give me a wisdom save, DC 22. Oh, 22? Oh, I, I can't pass that. All right. So he sure. says, oh, not 22. Are you Go sure there. about that? <laughs> oh, wah wah. Uh, no, there's no auto saves in the. Uh... Oh, that's right. Yeah. This isn't Baldur's Gate 3. Yeah, it's not Baldur's Gate Yeah, I've been, playing, I've been playing too much of that. <laughs> so he says, uh, Are you sure about that, Doodles? Uh, are you sure there's not something you're forgetting? 
Uh, and you feel compelled to say uh, she can see ley lines. And you have no idea why you just said that. And actually, your party is probably just astound astounded by it, that you just said that as well. Yeah, there might be a slight hiss from the theater under her breath, very quiet. <laughs> is, so, is my passive insight high enough to know that, like, that is not something he would have just done? Uh, give me an insight check on that. I'll say the DC is 22. Oh, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> oh, when he God. said that... When he said that, you can just hear a hand drop in the room. Yeah. Uh, so he says... Uh, oh, uh. Yeah. It seemed to all of you like, yeah, like Doodles just well, kind of really dropped a bomb there. Although, um, I'll say, uh, Vethmil, give me an insight check uh, at advantage. Can um, I uh, give a... DC, uh, DC 10, because you actually know he can do this. Alright, I'm going to use Bardic Inspiration on this uh, as well. Yes. <laughs> Is that a plus? Uh, what is it? Plus. Uh, uh, so you got a you got a five, but yeah, you can use your plus D ten, I think. Yeah. Which would only make it fifteen. Oh, you get to roll it again. You get advantage oh, for him. Yeah. Yeah. All go. right. So yeah, you you are almost sure that uh, Lord Stravaro just did a, a compulsion. Okay. Because you've seen him do this before. Um. So yeah, but he would say, uh, "How interesting." Hmm. Well, Wait. It makes sense sorry. then. Um, I rolled a. Oh, well, no, that was insight. Cool. I guess Andre's yeah, off the hook it. for telling Kyber because now it's out there. <laughs> yeah. How everyone like, well, now everyone knows. So. Yeah. I mean, it's just kind of like, not the only one in shit now. Yes. <laughs> so he is, uh, he is going to say, uh, well. I would like to help you all. I feel that uh, your friend being kidnapped uh, is not something that should stand, even if it was by the Steel Shadow. If uh, you'll accept my help, uh, perhaps uh, as a show of good faith, I could offer you all a place within my estate. Will that not uh, show your hands to others in this city? as well i don't have to tell anyone that you're here i have a place where you can stay secretly <laughs> and uh you could use the tunnels uh my own private tunnels to get back uh, to your pit gang if you need to and what is the price of your accommodations and your assistance with retrieving our companion he says nothing for now just uh let you offer my help in your uh, attempts to retrieve your friend but the words for now are very in a, uh, imprecise for uh, open and the deals are a dangerous arena. thing. Uh, so uh, so Vethman would speak up to, I guess, Nasira and say, um, My lord is very generous. He nods. He says, I am generous to my friends and vicious to my enemies. And I wish you all to be my friends. So I'm showing uh, this generosity to you. Um, but this hopefully we can remain friends. Is, this quote-unquote generosity is extended with uh, caveats that have not been um, established. We do not know the price attached to your aid. He says, well, you are free to refuse my generosity if you don't trust me, but I feel that uh, it would be in your best interest to have an ally, especially now that you are all thought to be assassins. Would you accept a contract without knowing the terms? He says, if I was in your position, I might. You don't really have a, a good position to bargain from. No, we do not. Um... I'm not gonna lie. I trust you. You seem fun. You seem like a cool you seem guy. Fun. <laughs> he does not speak for the group. LJ's like, all right, you're cool, dude. <laughs> I want to fall to see how right. much I believe him. Nasira is ob Nasira is like looking hesitant and stuff, but like she's gonna look around to Anvir and Eldwin, Doodles and Bethmel. So sensing a little apprehension for everyone, he says, uh, "I'll tell you what." Um, 
I assume you already have a place with the pit gang. If you need to retreat to your domicile there and think about my offer, uh, we can speak later. Though, uh, traveling these tunnels is dangerous because the uh, Stevisons are looking for you. So I suggest uh, caution and haste in your decision. Now, I hope you don't associate me too closely with these other ones. Uh, but uh, I have come to uh, trust uh, Vathmil here, and he says uh, you are generous. He says I am um, quite I'll... generous. And he smiles. I'm wittery on his side. Brisket. Doodles I'm is like, make a great brisket. <laughs> I'm wittery yeah. on Fair. his side. I wish you said he was fun. Yeah. How did that not be a mole on his side? Um. Uh, well, what were but, you saying, Doodles? Sorry, go ahead. Uh... I'd, I'd, I'd like to check out your kitchen and maybe your beds. The uh, the, the cats that, that the picking have, they're, they're, they're breaking my neck. I, I can't spend another night on them. And you said you wish to check my bed. No, not your bed. <laughs> your kitchen. Your that kitchen. might have been an invitation. Oh, that... but... Uh, he uh, would yeah. say... Uh, well, I can guarantee that my beds are much more comfortable than the stone slabs they have you sleeping on in the ruins, and uh, you can certainly check my kitchen. Does that mean you accept my offer? Uh, me as Doodles does, but I don't know if the group does. I, I'm with you kinda, on my Doodles. He kind of looks I'm to the you. rest of you. LJ moves over to Doodles and is like, I I'm with this guy right here. You I'll, go with I'll go with whatever. I think siding uh, with you, Lord Abra, would probably be our best bet, it seems. As seems. long as our aims align and there are no deceptions and deviations from the agreement, then yes, I am happy to have an ally. He says, well, for now, think of it as hospitality. I have not asked for anything. I have just offered. Uh, if This is my point. There have been uh, agreements before that were negated um, yeah. or not trustworthy. And in this case, you are not even informing us what we are agreeing to and what you might ask of us. This, of course, raises suspicion. So he uh, kind of smiles at you, Nasira. Uh, give me a wisdom save, DC twenty-two. Oh, oh, oh. Army. Oh no. <laughs> oh. Sorry. Oh wait, did you say twenty-two? <laughs> yeah, it was twenty-two. Oh fuck. Ooh. Is it magic? So, uh, it is magic. Yeah. <clears throat> oh, but it's All not right. a save. Okay. All right, Bill. So he uh, gives you a very warm. Is it a save? Wait, is it a save? Yeah, yeah it's a, a wisdom save. save. Oh, but okay, but yes, yeah, still, it's still a 21. You're already. Yeah. Never mind, sorry. Yeah. Uh, I mean, you could story point if you want to reroll. Uh... You get one of those per short rest. No, no, you know what? I don't think this is that important, so yeah. All right, so yeah, he gives you a very warm smile and he says, uh, My dear, I'm. I understand how uncomfortable this situation is, but I assure you, you can trust me, and I will not betray you the way Lady Stevenson did. You have my word. And for some reason, you just feel like he is really cool. So, Nasira is, like, all hard edges and, like, suspicion, but, like, at the same time, they're... All of that softens a little bit. Like, she's definitely not, like, Tr she's definitely trying not to reveal it but you think that like like she she definitely has warmed to him in the unlikely so she kind of just gives him a bit of a nod um he would look to back arab and say uh the patrols in the tunnels they're still uh ongoing he says yes my lord so uh, all right so it's probably good that you accept now so you don't have to sneak back um Bakarab here will show you to your quarters. Uh, wait till the party's over, though. I don't need any more suspicion. He nods. He says, of course, my lord. He says, uh, Vethmil, we shall speak later. But well done overall. And uh, uh, he... oh, Go ahead. Uh, before uh, we leave, I would uh, just 
like I would just turn around to him and he's like like if you don't mind uh, at some point I'd like to like I wouldn't mind speaking to you about Viren uh wait did you it's say... Viren huh go ahead uh like you mentioned my father Viren Haro it says Viren. Yes, that was the name. Wait, is that his name? Or are you trying to do like a... No, that no, that is his name. Okay. He says, uh, yes, that was his name. Uh, yes, I would be happy to speak with you more. Um, I'll have to consult some of my old notes. Uh, but um, <clears throat> perhaps I have some information about uh, where he went after his time here. Perhaps he's still in the city. Who knows? Sorry, I just wanted to check, because I wanted to say it at the time, but then it just kind of moved. Did I believe him when he said to Nasira the whole thing about, like, I wouldn't betray you? Oh, uh, actually, sure. Give me uh, an insight, DC-22 again. Uh, someone might <laughs> someone might notice. I, uh... I can't make that. Okay. Uh, and Veth Mill, you think he did it again with her. Nice! All right, and yeah, Anvir, you uh, you might have detected a little bit of a magic charm there. Uh, he might so, he might be doing it, vampire uh, bullshit. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but anyway, um, yeah. So he's gonna leave unless anyone else is saying anything. Have I'll a good end. day. All right, so this is probably a good spot to end. As the uh, group is out of the frying pan and into the fire. The Avra estate. Into the boiling pot. I mean, just jump <laughs> in. Should have just killed Voli. All we right. should have just killed everyone that we incapacitated during that Devison fight. We're like, we're here for allies. We're gonna like. Well, I mean, Lady like Lady Stevison would have probably still made up the lie that you were assassins. You would, oh no! Would... I yeah no! I we know that now. We just didn't know at the time, and so like we were. So super cautious to like leave all of her people alive and now that's like a bunch of people yeah. that are still after us yeah. it is funny it's like it's like well i mean like their sense gonna... is like we specifically made sure not to kill any of your people they're not gonna call <laughs> right? their boss a liar all right i got four I mean, votes she's, not. Not. she's a fucking liar because uh <laughs> then they'd probably get disappeared like lady <laughs> disappeared <laughs> Uh, missing one vote. I, I said mean, I my. Wasn't, I wasn't here for very long. It's really hard to say. Uh... <laughs> well, I might have I a tie, so you. I need uh, no, no abstaining. No. Abstaining. Honestly, you actually came I'd in before that, anything like, really there's, major there's, happened. There's been okay. So when we're when we're when we're deciding what to do people abstain and i'm like no you can't abstain the whole point of the vote is to like decide and then here we are you're saying like people can abstain no i said no one can abstain gotta vote i mean i guess if you really want to i could go off the five votes i got I right. voted. I think, no i think it's fair to make everyone vote all right like, so uh the sierra with two votes your mvp it was a pretty split vote actually did you get That's my vote? Yeah, I got your vote. Okay. Right. Yeah, you're good. See, so you're there for... Uh, Lou deserves a shout-out for his uh, Alabama joke in the beginning of the session. Alabama, that, man. Uh, that was fantastic. <laughs> oh, with, uh, with, uh, what's his name? <laughs> um, uh, shoot, oh, Molly, yeah. 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 Molly's like, yeah, my sister's <laughs> hot. Wait, what? <laughs> I guess she said attractive, but yeah, then you all made fun of it. Yeah, the thing was, it was so unexpected because to me that was like such an innocent, innocent thing to say. It's like, oh yeah. And the funny thing is, woman. before session we were talking about Alabama and this. We were talking about this exact thing pretty much. Let's Alabama see. claims that it doesn't happen more there, but. <laughs> yes, it happens more in Mississippi. I still remember this very viral video of an Alabama police officer just being like, It's illegal everywhere, hon! Even in Alabama! Uh, Don't worry, man. 
Uh, so, Lou, as far as that uh, Sunday, Sunday game we've talked about. Yeah. Uh, would you be cool if I played a fairy? <laughs> uh, well, we have to see if the Sunday game's going to be a thing, but uh, I, maybe. <laughs> maybe. Please? Okay. Right. <laughs> maybe. <laughs> Cause I know it's official content. Fairies, uh, they yeah, always, they always do weird <laughs> stuff in my games. I don't have anything <laughs> planned at all. But you don't have a yeah. You don't have a three foot fairy with a two thousand pound great ass as a totem.